podcast. Amen. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, let's be honest. I don't know. You're the you're the biology specialist. Lift weights and drink coffee. It's time for another episode of <laughs> Untamed. Untamed. Kelly Rowland. Let's go. Oh, we're the, starting. Destiny's Child, Kelly yeah. Rowland. Beyonce uh, Knowles and the other one. Destiny. Who's Beyonce? That's not Beyonce. <sighs> it, it is. It's a good okay. start to this episode. Yeah, it's great. Good job. Big smooth. Sorry. <sighs> what kind of headphones are those? These are my dictation headphones for when I do schoolwork. Your dick taking headphones? Yes, this is, this is what I wear when I do dick taking. <laughs> At least he's honest about it. You gotta give him that. And it's not raining in Ohio right now, but still probably be pretty sloppy. Well, I st- I still think it's a better start to have car. I, yeah, I think we're fine. It's not. What do you mean it's not raining? Roethlisberger was wearing a rain jacket. That was earlier. It's twelve o'clock now. Just wait. No, I I, I agree. I heard it's gonna be a hurricane. We're talking about our fantasy if for people that don't know what we're talking about. Of course they don't know what we're talking about. Anyways, what's going on, you guys? Not much, just uh, you know, first weekend of NFL football is back. I couldn't be happier. Really? Yeah, I love fantasy football and I love the Chiefs, so it's a good combination. There's nothing you love more. I wouldn't say that. I just I couldn't be happier. Nothing would make you happier. Well, at this current moment, uh, possibly not. Um, should there be something? Enjoying a, a conversation with two of your good friends. Couldn't make you happier? Well, we're doing that on this weekend. So, I mean, it's literally like the perfect trifecta of things are occurring at this moment. Trifecta. So, what's the third thing? <laughs> well, my fantasy football has started. The Chiefs are playing football opening weekend. And then talk with my, my two best friends. Tri- well tri- trifecta. So, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, thank you very much. Not your Jayhawks winning for their first road game since 2009? I mean, it's one of those things like the fact that us Jayhawk fans are actually excited about that is, is very sad to finally win a road game in nine years. Um, there's just it's just until and well what what makes it really sad for me is the fact we lost the first week. If we won the first week, the Jacks won the first week. It's a little different. Uh, it's just going one on one after losing to Nichols the first week. It just doesn't feel as good. I guess I don't know. It just feels weird. I just don't have hope. How that. long have you felt weird as a KU football fan? 2011, 2000, 2010, 2011, probably. Yeah, that's fair. Because even after the Orange Bowl, we still had one. You know. Well, we, had, we had two okay. I mean, we had a bowl game, and then we had an okay year. It's five and seven, but still five wins. Is, is it weird that you guys went four years of college with never seeing a road victory? No, and we almost could have gone a second time around, and we could have seen it as well. <laughs> I was going to say, we almost didn't see a home victory. <laughs> I mean, that's just, just, a, that's just how bad. We only had, what, two home conference wins, right, Joe? Well, Colorado, and they're not even in the conference anymore, right. and then West Virginia. Yeah. I was at, we were at both those games. I, I did leave early in the Colorado game because we were down like 30 points. And it was 42-17, I believe, yeah. in the fourth, yeah. and we came back and won. Yeah. I had something else to do that day, I think. It was probably a little more important, but yeah. But yeah, anyways, it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> Chiefs are playing. Royals are on a hot streak. <coughs> so You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. The bitter question, how do you feel about Auburn, man? I mean, I was obviously ecstatic after week one. It's a good way. Taking down six ranked Huskies in a dogfight. That was cool. Um, week two was kind of weird this week. I put up the most points under Gus Malzahn ever. Really? 63, yeah. It's the most he's ever put up. I did not realize that was the most ever. Yeah. Even with Cam Newton? As a as a head coach, I got under you. the head coaching era of Gus Malzahn, got you. Yeah, the most before that was sixty two. What, what year was that? I don't know. I think twenty fourteen, maybe. I don't uh, know. Cody called his team lit. <laughs> no, he's gonna lose a lot of games. He got a picture of. He got a. He got a picture of Kevin Von Senior <laughs> when he's <laughs> when he's like passed out. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, dude, that's I got a text about that's perfect. But anyways, yeah, I mean, so I mean, Ryan, what's going on, man? But How you doing? Four fumbles against Alabama State was pretty, <laughs> pretty disgusting. You see it? That's, that's too good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too good. 
there's a story behind that, but that's that's something that Monsignor would have to say. But there's Deshaun Watson. Wow. No, never mind. That's a Jaguars. Sorry, I just I can't tell anything. Good job, man. I'm colorblind. God. I know. Uh, let's kick it off. Talk about um, one of the biggest things that happened this weekend with Serena. Um, let me give a little backstory to it. I'm, uh, you're if, looking at the wrong person. If any, if anybody watched the U.S. Open, they saw what happened with her lose. She lost a point and she lost a game, right? For three code violations. Yeah, I can, I can kind of give it. Yeah, go ahead, back. man. Okay, so what happened was, it was the U.S. Open Women's Championship, which women played best two out of three. So her competitor Osaka, who's a 20 year old uh, woman from Japan, won the first set six games to two. Okay. They were tied one game apiece in the second set when the chair umpire, which I forget his first name, but his last name is Ramos. Ramos Carlos Ramos. I want to say, yeah, Carlos Ramos. And um, he looked over at Serena's coaching box and saw the coach make a hand gesture that looked as if um, it was some kind of coaching. And the chair umpire ruled it as coaching. And in tennis, you cannot get coaching at any time from your box while you're playing. That's during the match at any time. While you're in the chair, during a game, changeover, set changeover, nothing. It's just you and the other opponent. So anyways, there was the first warning and or code violation that the that Serena received. It was right there. Um, the second, so she was pissed about that. She was, she was furious. Mm-hmm. She was mad at Ramos. She went over to Ramos and said, I'm not a cheater. I've never cheated in my life. You need to apologize. Pretty much demand an apology, frustrated, saying that she'd rather lose than cheat. So the crowd got rallied up. That was the first code violation. She ends up winning that game. And was that a code? Was that a warning? Well, it it, it it's a warning, but it's a it's a first penalty or a first violation. Either way you count it. So what are the consequences though for that so first code after violation? The first warning and or code violation. It's just a warning. Wow. Deshaun Watson just handed off to Lamar Miller in the fumble. Which oh my gosh, is that counting against Lamar Miller? Because that'd be that'd be on us. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> I have a New England defense in one of my leagues. Oh, so. oh good for you. That's good. So anyway, sorry I got j- jumbled up there, guys. But anyway, so what happens is after the first warning in our code violation of any sorts, it's just a warning. The umpire says he issues it. It's a warning. That's pretty much one strike. So you're saying at that point it's a warning. You have you don't lose a point. You don't lose a game. You don't lose anything. At that point, she should have just let it go. Yes. And maybe after the fact, after the – because she, she could have come back. Because, I mean, losing a point and losing a game – Especially in the championship, yeah. I mean, that's that's obviously that's huge. That's oh. going to shift momentum. Yeah, and again, and I've I've never seen so, and I'll and I'll and I'll keep going. And I'll get to what happened in a second. So she gets that first warning. So she's 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 at a rate, but she serves out, wins that game, goes up two games to one, and then I believe then broke her racket, broke Osaka, broke Osaka oh, to broke go up Osaka. three games to one. So you go to three games to one. What happens next is as she's up three games to one. She's up 30-15, and she gets two more points than she can win that game. So what happens is she double faults twice in a row to go down 30-40, to 40, and then after her serve, serves a backhand into or hits a backhand return into the net. So she loses the game. She then proceeds to throw her racket down to the point where it breaks. Now, it's, I think it's always been a rule, but last year they started enforcing it. If you break your racket or break it, it's, it's racket abuse, right? racket or equipment abuse, and that is another code violation. So that is her second warning slash code violation that she received. When that happens, it's an automatic. It's an automatic, good tackle. It's an automatic penalty. So automatic point penalty. So she lost the point. So what happened was she's going over for the next game for Osaka. For Osaka to serve. Mm-hmm. Lux first pass back as a pick. So <laughs> for Osaka to serve, and it's fifteen to love. And Serena looks just befuddled because she has no idea what happened. Well, she assumed that when her and the chair umpire talked that she got that first warning slash code violation removed. <laughs> and because of that, she lost, She had a point penalty. So she goes over to the chair umpire and is demanding an apology. She is pissed. She's like, I thought that was – like, I thought we were fine with that. I can't – I've and never cheated in my life. That's she started calling him a thief, like you stole a point from me. And it, and no, almost not even quite yet. It was almost, but so what happened was that's the second violation she had, so that's a point penalty. So anyways, she's pissed. Osaka wins that game, 
It's three to three at that point, and Williams then is is irate. She's on the she's on the sideline, the chair. She's yelling. She's pissed. She's wondering what's happened. Is that when she got the verbal abuse? She gets broken again. That's when she goes over and is like, you know what? Then at this point, you can tell she's probably going to lose. So she's like, I'm pissed. She's like, you're a thief. You stole a point from me. You're a thief. Which is when then the chair umpire issued a verbal abuse warning or code violation. And that was her third one, which sustains her a game penalty, which I have never seen in my life of all the years I've watched tennis. And I've been watching for 12, 13, at least over half my life probably. I've been watching these majors and watching other tournaments. I have, I've seen a point penalty, but never a game penalty. Because usually players figure it out before then. But in this case, she lost her cool. The Getting called a thief, although it's not really that bad, she was literally berating the umpire since it was one-to-one in the set. So the last four or five games, she'd been berating them literally. Every change or every time she got, the look she gave them. Like, in my opinion, it sucks for Serena, but she's the one that did to herself. She right. double faulted them after three. She got broken again, double faulted, blew it. And, I mean, you can, you can give your opinion, but in my opinion, I think the chair umpire was, was justified. I think it sucks because then she started yelling about how she has a kid and rubbing, rubbing the fact she's a, she's a mother now and rubbing the fact that she's a woman now, that men get away with it. And I think she over overdid it, and I think it just I think it sucks that Osaka had to go through that. And Yeah, I think she definitely kind of overshadowed a big moment for Osaka. And I said this earlier, but... She did do one right thing where, you know, she told the crowd to stop booing. So that way, she, you know, the moment wasn't completely taken away from Osaka. But, yeah, I agree with you. I think she definitely did do it to herself. Um, Serena, I don't think you're. I don't think anybody thinks you're a cheater. I just think we all think you handled that situation poorly. And you suffered the consequence, losing a point, losing a game, and then losing the U.S. Open. I think she's equally frustrated losing Wimbledon and then losing US, the U.S. Open. Those are two majors, right? Yes. Losing back-to-back majors, I think she's super frustrated. Yep. And I think that kind of played a part in it, too, is that she's used to dominating. And I think she just wasn't used to you know losing two majors like that. I mean, so I, I, still I think like that definitely impacted her. How did the Saints score? Could you check that for me? Or do you know? Was it Kamara? Um, I think it was Kamara. Fuck. He's so good. Um, but, uh, but no, on that point, and again, I might get chastised for saying this, but I might get chastised for saying this, but it, I, th- I, again, I think for the fact she's been a mother for a year now, cause her child, I think Olympia or whatever her name is, had her, had her, um, it's a pretty, pretty cool name. <laughs> oh no, it's a great name. And again, I'm so happy for it, but again, it's been about a year. I bet some hormones and some postpartum maybe be setting in because I think I think normally I don't think Serena would would outlast like this. I think she's usually pretty composed. I mean that's why she's won twenty three majors. I mean she's the best women's player, if not best tennis player of all time. And I think she lost her cool and it and it showed. And again, it does suck because Osaka, Osaka is the first Japanese player in the history, men or women, to actually win a championship, which is amazing. I think she's the first person I've seen ever match Serena power for power in terms of the baseline strokes. She was literally knocking the crap out of the shots. I think Serena kind of felt like a little bit of it, not changing of a guard because it's only one time, but Osaka's only 20. And she'll be around for a long a time. While. So really happy to see that for her. But, yeah, it was it does suck because the fans got rowdy. It just the whole thing was blown out of proportion, I think. And so Serena's going to find – she'll tie Margaret Court's record 24. She'll win sometime, and she's going to break it, and she'll win number 25. She, she, she's going to break it, and I think she should just realize that. And, but she Yeah, I think she'll bounce back from this. I think it was just – I mean, I don't. Re- I didn't really. I didn't really lose a lot of respect. I didn't lose respect for her. No. I just think, like, okay, are like, are you outraged by it? No, and and like you said, again, she just she lost her composure. But like you said, no one. I don't think she's a cheater. Just unfortunately, her coach made a motion, and the chair umpire just enforced the rule. And you know, it's unfortunate. But yeah, no one thinks she's a cheater. Just the coach made a motion, and and the, he got I mean, caught. the worst part was he, you know, he admitted to it. I don't know. Maybe that's not the worst part, but. Um, unfortunately f- to her, um, he admitted to coaching and then he was like, well, a hundred percent of coaches do it. And it's like, okay, that's fine. You might be right. I don't know. I don't watch enough tennis. I don't, I'm not on the court. I'm not, I don't go to tennis matches. I'm not that deeply it's, into it, it. The way I think of it is like, it's like think about baseball when you're like still signals. It essentially is that like you're, if as a coach, you would, you would think you maybe have like a more subtle signal, but again, well, you have the GoPro now, but the motion was... The motion was this, like a come hither, like come to the net kind of motion. And if the chair umpire can see it from him, which he's probably 
oh, I don't know, 20 yards, 30 yards at least. And he can see that behind some people. He can see that motion. You know, that's – he got called out. and Oh, wow. Wow. Damn, I think I have Saints defense in our league. Damn, Fitzpatrick, what a throw. Is that Deshaun Jackson? Mm-hmm. And I, I didn't draft that. I was gonna say I thought about I thought about him in one of our drafts, but it was I think he's taken by someone. But I thought with Fitzpatrick, who knows? But anyways, yeah, man. It again, it's just it's crazy. Like I again, I didn't even I didn't watch it live, but I saw it. Again, like you said, Ryan, no one thinks she's a cheater. She's she's a she's a classy woman for the most part. It was just an unfortunate. I just think yeah, it's just you just handled the situation poorly. Yeah. I don't think you're a, I don't think she's a bad person because of it. Yeah. Um, I just think she handled the situation poorly, yeah. and then trying to dump feminism on top of it and I'm being a mother it, I think that just made it kind of worse right. but yeah I don't I mean I don't think she's a bad person I don't I didn't no. lose any respect for her I was just like damn you just handled that bad exactly. oh well we'll and move she, on move on from it she'll come out next tournament and probably win I mean she's that good so yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah I mean I definitely think she'll bounce back after losing back to back majors like that yeah and but again yeah I mean got to remember too yeah she just literally came back from being a, I mean she had a child I mean that's just yeah. how long ago did she have a kid it was a year ago yeah okay I didn't even know she had a kid. Yeah, and what was crazy too was she won. So twenty seventeen, she won the Australian Open at least eight weeks pregnant. So, I, no, she. I mean, she's impressive. She's impressive. I mean, she's she's as good as you get as a tennis player. So, um, you've done some amazing things at eight weeks. What? <laughs> but anyways, we can we can get to a topic Joe Just likes to kidding, talk about because you can tell he's definitely bored and wants to. No, it's not. Leave. That I, it's not that I'm bored. I was actually curious to know about it. I just don't know anything about tennis. Yeah. No, it's and the again, mic is right in front of my face. Again, I just I, I love. Can, I can see the evidence. Oh yeah, or you. maybe you just have a shitty microphone. Wow! Whoa! Come on! Come on! Let's maybe go. You should use your big Joe, big smooth voice. My big voice. There you go. So what's going on over here with uh, Red Zone? You were pretty. You were pretty deep into it. There's a, a lot just happened that we missed. Uh, a couple log touchdowns, um, Deshaun Jackson, D- D- Jackson, and then uh, Kamara had like a, I think like a ten fifteen yard run. Gosh, I wish I had him this year. I had him last year, and he did wonders for me. Jim- Took me to the, he got me from worst to fourth. Yeah, I- I'm really pissed that I have Saints defense now. I mean, it's seven points, but. No, I, I. You know what's weird is I. I guess I don't really know too much about the Saints' defense, but I was just kind of curious. Like people, I heard people drafted them a lot, and I just don't understand. I guess maybe they have something I don't know. But who the Saints? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't really know either. I'm not I, saying it's a bad pick. I just for some reason I don't. I don't know. I just. I didn't understand it, but. I don't know what the deal is? I feel like I can't hear Joe that well. Second and what? Well, maybe maybe dip your microphone down. Maybe. What about now? It's still like quiet. My it sounds quiet, doesn't it? The microphone's on though, right? I, yeah. I'm I'm literally right up to it. Yeah, that's. I don't know, cause like maybe it's just I yeah, don't know. Maybe you're just speaking softly. I don't think it's you, Joe. I think it's a. I think it's something else. I don't think it's you. It might just be something else. It's probably you. I don't think so. That's fair. But anyways, Joe, what do you want to talk about, big guy? You can see you over there. What are you thinking about right now at this moment? I mean, we had a lot of stuff happen this past week. That I feel like. Are you about to take some dick? Is that why that's out? No. <laughs> quickly quickly shoved it aside. That's what, yeah. Joe, what do you want to talk about? I know there's a lot of stuff that happened this week that I'm sure you have a lot of opinions on. Uh, Sports-wise? Um, Anything, man. Politics, sports, entertainment, home and garden. <laughs> home and garden. Um, Politics-wise, I don't, I don't know if I really have much. I mean, just Trump tweeting and... Saying some pretty dumb shit. And what about Zayna Bash? The white supremacy sign? The, I'm not even going to give that attention. That was so stupid. I think it deserves attention because that one reporter made such a big deal out of it. Safety? Oh, we have the Jags D. And then we also have their defense. You see what he did there? Yeah, <laughs> go on. It's pretty good. And we have Barkley. Now he was out. He was, he was out. Wow. Um, and that fumble wasn't on Lamar Miller, by the way. They put it on I was, Jackson. I was gonna say, or uh, Watson. I was going to say, it shouldn't be. Oh, that's fair. Deshaun Jackson, Sean Watson, we just saw it. Yeah. 
I just can't see Nathan Pierman doing anything productive today. I really can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Why Why would you not just go with Allen? I don't know why. It... Dude, it was so funny. I was listening to Z-Bet's podcast, and I've just been listening to other people. When it came out that Pierman was going to be the quarterback, I think people jumped so hard on Balsam. <laughs> Eli. Ooh. I could have been a that could have been a huge hit. I'm glad he re- resisted. He pulled, though. Yeah, he pulled up now because of the, all the new rules. Oh, right, Jalen Ramsey, he's, he's shooken. Oh, first of all, did you see that? Uh, yeah, what, I mean, have you been watching like just players in general? Have you been like just noticing trends of defenses and players just holding up and having to really think about how to tackle now instead of actually just doing gonna, something they've done for 20 years? Yeah, well, I mean, look, like that right there. He, you could tell he had to hold up when he was kind of putting his head down because he knew he couldn't touch him. I watched a college game yesterday, yeah, and there was a play. I, God, who was it? Was it the Colorado Nebraska game? It was that or the Clemson game. Um. Oh boy. Oh, I wish we got a concussion uh, so Baker Mayfield can come in. Yes, I want to see Baker Mayfield. Wow, are you training for an injury? That's well, no, I mean classic Jeff. You well, know, if Kevin Durant broke his ankle, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't either. I uh, know you would, because you're Boyd Cotton, and I love it. Are they looking at a targeting call? You got to be kidding me! JJ Watt didn't do anything. That's not J- TJ. I mean, TJ Watt. CJ Watt. Something J Watt. Right, read a book, man. Read anyway, a let's see what the, let's see what book. this penalty is. No, oh, it's only unnecessary roughness. Are you kidding me? I wish I wish Gallagher was here. Who? Kevin Gallagher. Here, let's let's take a look at this. He comes out. He's not down yet. He he led with his shoulder. Is it is it you just can't go for the head or neck First no matter all, what? First of all, is it the defender's fault the the court that his quarterback is diving and his elbow hits him? Like, come on, man. Come on. This that's what I'm talking about. Like I'm texting Kevin right now. I'm texting him. That dude, that's outrageous. I think the new rule is is just if you make contact with the quarterback, it's a penalty. If you breathe on the quarterback. Oh man. Is that Cook? Um Is NFC, that Dalvin Cook? NFC West is gonna be interesting this year. Yeah. Four Rams is gonna be some good battles. Speaking of targeting, did anyone see the uh the the video of that Liberty punter yesterday. Yeah, the punter. Yeah, we, oh, that was the definition of targeting. <laughs> did, you, did you bring it up? He literally. Well, can, dove. Joe, just, can Joe bring it up? He can, but the punter literally dives at the at the uh, at the guy with his head. Literally just dives at him. The best the the best uh, video I've seen so far of it is uh, Pat McAfee's. Pat McAfee or McAfee? Yeah. I yeah, it's because he does the for the brand. There was a punt yesterday. I think it was Clemson's punter. He punted like 70-something yards. Here, let's see. I don't even know who my receivers are in our league. I just feel so disconnected from my team. Yeah, you're, well, because you weren't there for the draft. Because I had a proxy. But I think he did an okay job, though. He did okay. I mean, again, you're the first I wasn't pick. like, I wasn't like pissed about my team. I was actually pretty pretty happy. My quarterbacks are okay. I have Wentz, who's hurt. But I also have Alex Smith, which I know he'll, you know, he's a, he's not going to put up huge numbers, but well, he'll even though he be was the best consistent. quarterback last year in fantasy. Uh, I don't know about fantasy. I shouldn't. I shouldn't say he was the best overall, like QBR rating. He was. Cons- he was really consistent. Which, in terms of fantasy, no, I, I take that back. But he, in terms of, he had he had some of the highest points, though. I know that. Um. I don't think Kamara scored. Who did? Yeah, that? he did. It was an eight-yard touchdown. Was it a run? Yeah, it was a run. But, Joe, how do you feel about uh, KU football? Let's switch gears a little bit just to college football. How do you feel about that? I mean, I know you had a – you called it, by the way, too. Great call. On Twitter, on Facebook, he called me at 3 o'clock in the morning, said, KU will win, write it down, bitch, and I did. All right, well, everything <laughs> actually did happen except the uh, The calling. Facebook thing. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. I just I had seen 
video of Central Michigan against Kentucky, and I just didn't think they looked ultra impressive. Didn't you watch 14 hours of tape? I did watch 14 hours of tape and took very detailed notes. That's very good of you. Continue on. No, anyways, um, I did actually watch some of the the game clips of Central Michigan versus Kentucky, and I just didn't think they were that impressive. They didn't really have – they didn't really have much of an offense. Oh, did you see? There's a flag. Uh, Three of them. Did he already have a concussion this year? Probably or for a legal man downfield. Oh, there goes Andrew Luck. Another eighteen months. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, his first pass back was a freaking pick, and then he took a shot to the head. <gasps> That's bad. And, okay, that that one deserves a penalty. That is bad because he was already wrapped up. That second guy had no. The guy was already giving him. Yeah, the second guy had no reason That's for that. That's targeting, right? What's how is that not targeting? Okay, anyway, sorry. How about the – anyways, Joe, how do you – okay, back to KU football. You watched – I mean, you got to watch the whole game, right? Yeah, I watched I, the I was unable to watch any of the games, so tell me what happened. I mean, was it just Central Michigan's that bad or <laughs> – I mean, it, it, KU – You had a good game plan KU's maybe? KU's that good? David Beatty's a, one of the coaches on the rise? No, KU just actually had a couple plays where they – Big exec- 12 coach of the year. Yeah, they just actually executed a couple times, and Central Michigan is really just that bad. That bad? They don't have I – mean, The it factor? Well, the, their offense can't – like, the only time they would able, be able to throw the ball down is that they would have to, like, run, like, like student body left or student body right and then throw – What does that mean? Basically, where how, – how would you describe it? Bo- student body is basically a play where, like, the line shifts. Isn't that a McLeod term? A McLeod term. Student body? No, student body is an old, famous play in football. Which is what? Basically, the line all blocks move, to the right. Yeah, they all move in one direction, and then the quarterback receives the ball, and then waits for the line to move, and then hits the hole. How but big's the hole? It's sometimes gaping big. <laughs> no, but anyways, that's all they would do. And that's then a great the, description. Then the quarterback would run like two or three feet, and then he could like throw out a wide receiver that's like five, six yards down the field, and that's all they were able to do through the air. And KU was actually stopping the run, so Central Michigan couldn't get anything started. Um, sorry, the, the 2018 use of the helmet rule just popped on the screen. All three of us were just taking a look at it. But uh, To so be ejected at officials. Discre- in college, you're, you're automatically ejected. Uh, we, again, I mean. The, it's that, just not necessary. He's down. Yeah, no, see that one, unlike the one we saw with TJ Watt a second ago, which was, which again, yeah, I know Gallagher's watching and I just text him. It's that. The de- as a defender, I don't know. Oh, he got ejected. Wow. He got ejected. Okay. I mean, it's pre- that was pretty bad. No, he deserved I mean, that that was – oh, he let, he had 16 personal fouls last year. Okay. Wow. See, that's the problem. I think that's a good thing. You have to take into account the history of the player. Like 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 Vontez Perfect, I think like guys like that, they, they had that reputation. Yeah, it's, they're going to get called for it, and they should. I mean, it's, it's a safety issue at that point. Uh-oh. Wow. There he is. Let's go. Sh- oh, we need Saquon Barkley, man. Who's got Blake Bortles? <laughs> I don't think anyone. <laughs> Hopefully nobody. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, KU going forward, Joe. Where do they go from here? They win next week, or they have a week off? I think. Um, yeah. What's the what's what do you project their record to be after? Can you pull up the schedule just so you can just give us a breakdown, maybe like point predictions for each week? Actually, let's do this. He wants to talk about this first. He's had this pulled up for like five. Oh. Five, seven minutes. That's now. the first time he's been ready in my life. Okay, here we go. Can you show it to me? Can you, like, give it over here so we can see it? Here. Just hold it and play it. It's a MacBook Air. It's not very heavy. Lamar Miller! <laughs> <laughs> that is a definition of targeting. He launched with his head. <laughs> <laughs> play it again. I don't hear that again. Play it again. I'm from the start. That's good. I love the, the part. Brand. I love the part where Pat McAfee says he didn't. He didn't remember that he had <laughs> hands or oh. feet. That's Pat <laughs> McAfee saying that. Yeah, Pat McAfee. Go America, <laughs> dude! That you should you should share that on Facebook. That's that's a perfect one right there, man. <laughs> dude, that's one of the best I've seen, man. That's awesome. Save a tutter. 
Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Terribly awesome. But K, you going for it next week? Who they play, man? They got Rockers at home. Oh, win or loss. Um, I think the final result of the game is going to be seven point within seven points either way. Um, I think KU might actually be favored in the game because, well, I mean, considering they come off a win, they should be at home. It's going to be probably small, I'd say, within four or five points. I can see if they have a, a line out on that game. I don't think they do, but uh, my, t- my Tigers didn't cover yesterday. Minus sixty-two and a half. Was it really? Yeah, didn't cover. It's minus sixty-two and a half. Last week or this 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 week it was against Alabama State. That's just, that's insane. We were minus sixty-two and a half, could be and we only won we only won sixty-three to nine. Mm, well, you gotta work on some stuff, man. Malik Willis took a safety. Oh, that's on him. Yeah. No, well, you know you can't win every time. No, you can't. Um. I think, I think, man, just I love football. God, Odell, love football. dude, Odell's getting going. He's just, hey, he's the well, highest paid receiver. He's he's a, he's a playmaker, man. And he's healthy. No, he could use him last year. First of all, how do you get that wide open, man? He, I mean, I was gonna say you you have you have a top tier, as Joe Seekers would say. I like to have tiers of receivers. You definitely have a top tier of receivers, and I mean, you got you got OBJ. I mean, Julio Brown. I tell you, I mean that's, mm, I, I honestly, I mean, me and me and Joe drafted uh, DeAndre Hopkins this year. And I think DeAndre Hopkins is definitely in that discussion. So hopefully he pulls some plays off for us. But oh, that should what a picked. play! He could have picked that off. That was a, but um, yeah, man, Ryan Auburn. I know they beat Alabama State, but where do they go from here? What's their schedule like? We have LSU next week. What do you think? Be at home or on the road? At home. Which is our only chance to beat. We haven't beaten them in wanna, Baton Rouge since You want to watch the game together? I'm going to be on an airplane. Well, it's California. Hey, congratulations, man. I'm happy Thanks, for man. it. That does suck, though, because we always used to I know. watch those games. I know. Um, I don't know, man. If we can contain Joe Burrows, we got a chance. I believe – well, here's the thing. Again, you obviously watch more Auburn than uh, most people I know. <laughs> I think I think the, I think the they can stop and contain Burrow. I really do. Why didn't he just try to run that in? He I forgot he had feet like that. He, <laughs> he forgot, forgot he had legs, legs and feet. Legs and feet. <laughs> he forgot he had arms and hands. Um, <laughs> I, in my opinion, I think <clears throat> Auburn does win that game. That defense is too good. Dude, that you can't run straight up the middle like that on, on that D. So anyway, sorry. I, I think Auburn, it's going to be close. I think it's a one-possession game. I think they can hold Burroughs. I think LSU's defense is – is top it's it's top yeah, they're it's top, top tier. they're always I'll say top, top five tier. top ten this year I think easily. it's that good easily because I know Miami might be okay I'm not sure if they're great or not but they looked LSU looked dang good he didn't make it great tackle why would you not kick a field goal um you already have a three nothing lead you might as well just keep patting I agree um I mean we have a great our front seven is great that's not the issue the issue is our secondary. Um, why are you running a reverse play on your five? That that doesn't make sense. Two Odell back. I mean, like, oh wow, Tampa Bay scored again. We have Peyton Barber, Joe. If it's Peyton Bar, no, he has thirty-seven yards rushing though. Yeah, did you see that, is Ryan? He, is he Do- starting? We didn't start him. Oh yeah, he's starting for Tampa Bay. Yeah. What As happened he- to what's his face? Doug Martin's not on the team anymore. Wait, where is he on? Is he playing football? Is what he Joe? I don't know. I don't even. Yeah. Didn't he get suspended again? I thought he had another suspension. They were. Yeah, I don't him. think he's on the team. Hey, Kamara, right touchdown. Yeah, I. I was telling Ryan. I know you said it, Joe, but I was just making sure Ryan knew. My bad. Sorry. I can. Just, I suck at life. Um, no, he had a terrible season last season. But anyway, so yeah. Okay, so Auburn. The the issue is going to, I mean, one, we know that LSU is a power, they're a power football team. Mm-hmm. So they're going to try to run at us. But I think we're going to be prepared for that. So. Wow. Nice catch. Is that a good one? And here actually Joe, if it's okay with if it's okay with Ryan, um me and Ryan were able to do a podcast. Unfortunately Chris didn't make it. Yeah. Where we discussed um start one, bench one, cut one. Ooh. Wow, Fitzpatrick leads the league right now in fancy points. 
Um, can we ask? Can we ask? Uh, pose Joe the question. Yeah, Joe. So it's start one, bench one, cut one, and you have three players: Cam Newton, Tim Tebow, Johnny Manziel. Based on college performance only, you have to try to keep the NFL out. I know me and Ryan got into the NFL part because it's tough not to have it in there. But what do you think? That's probably penalty. Col- college football. Yeah. Uh, start Cam. Oh shit. Well, the easy one is you cut. You cut Manziel. That's not even close. Wow. No, I mean we we agreed. We, well, we, agreed. we agreed. That's exactly what we said. Because wh- what's your reasoning for that? Why is your what's wrong with your face? He's you just, not, no, because but he, again, Tim Tebow and Cam Newton were able to physically assert themselves more so than Johnny Manziel was. That's, yeah, that's a, I mean that's a good analysis. He, he was he was more he, Manziel. I mean, I'm not saying Manziel was a bad player, but <laughs> I, don't if think, you watch, I don't think I don't think anyone would say that. At I, all. But if you watch a lot of Manziel's games, though, I mean, he was a. He was a he was a risk taker and and he got quite he got lucky a lot of games and if you watch some of those football games like the game against Alabama at Alabama there were like three the, or four th- different that plays. one where he just threw it up yeah like and there's Evans yeah. was there I mean that at that point you're just you're just lobbying it up to a guy who's you know Mike Evans who's the first one but anyways that's just one play but Cam I, I think I can say this safely in my lifetime I don't think I've ever seen a single player. Maybe obviously with the argument of Tim Tebow, but I, I'm still going to go Cam Newton that has been able to dominate a game like he was able to, because he was able to do it with his legs and his arm. Mm-hmm. Brady just threw, oh my god, it's pick galore. Joe, I agree with your analysis, and one of the big things we said was man's up. Oh, I forgot Tyron Matthew plays for the Texans now. Anyways, that's good for us with Lamar Miller. One one thing that we definitely talked about was. Cam and Tebow definitely have the body for it over Manziel because Tebow was definitely a, he was a run and gun and he took a lot of abuse, but he was never, I don't think he was ever injured in his college career. Cam, I mean, Cam played one season, but he took a lot of abuse. Still takes a lot of abuse. Manziel was, he got hurt at the end of the, his first season, didn't he? I think so. Um, and the reason we bring this up is because Trey, Le, Trey Day had posed this question and Chris Fields and I said that we would start Cam and initially I said uh bench Manzel and cut Tebow but I definitely changed after we talked about it. And his his main points were he brought up numbers but oh shit. Tim Tebow had a lot of intangibles though. Exactly and that's one thing we talked about. He 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 was a leader. He had the famous. What was that famous uh, speech he had? Uh, th- that was after the uh, when they lost, and he said, "You'll never s-, like he you know gave that speech." I and sw- sorry, quick out. interruption. We're watching this red zone. I have never seen. I know it's red zone, so they they go back and forth. But I have never seen. There's so many. Like there's probably been ten turnovers in the first quarter of like six different games. Yeah, I've only ever. I mean, yeah, it's, it's some slop, sloppy conditions. But anyway, sorry. Back to you guys. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Concentrating what yeah, I'm saying. Literally turnover, turnover, turnover. Oh my gosh. Who was, what was that game, Florida? Did they lose or was yeah, it? Yeah, they lost they the lost. game. Was it to Ole Miss or was it? I don't know why. It was some subpar team. I think it was 08. Joe, you want to check it out for it us? It was Ole Miss. Florida's 08 season? Ooh. I think it was Ole Miss. But Trey was, Trey was trying to call us out, not me and Jeff, but me and, me and Chris Fields, because we were saying, he was trying to say that our only, the only reason that we chose, um, Cam, he he said he would start Johnny, bench Cam and cut Tim Tebow, and he said the, he said the only reason that Chris and I had chose Cam to start was because he had a national championship. That was his reasoning, and I said, and now when we talked about it, I would cut Johnny because you have Cam and uh, Tim Tebow who both have Heisman trophies, and. Cam has a national championship. Tim Tebow has two national championships. Cam Newton has a Heisman, doesn't he? Yeah, he has a Heisman and a national championship. And Tim Tebow has two national championships and a Heisman. Whereas Johnny only has a Heisman. And then he tried to say that, you know, to win a national championship, it takes a village. And this is where I started to unravel. Because our head coach, if you remember, was Gene Chizik, 
who came over from a three was it a three win Iowa State team? I was at, I forgot the numbers. I mean, we can pull it up again. But the numbers he, he three atrocious. Of, three of his I think six coaching seasons he had losing records. Yeah, and our coordinators were. I mean, you give credit to Gus Malzahn, phenomenal offensive coordinator. Then went on to have one um, when he was at Arkansas State. His first year, they won their conference championship. But our defensive coordinator was Ted Roof. I think it was Ted Roof. The Duke guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and when Cam was there, our defense barely cracked the top 50. They averaged over, I think, giving up 21-something points a game or something like that. 24 yeah. maybe points a game, something like that. Yeah. It was all Miss, wasn't it? It was. God, what a great memory I have. But... We have DeAndre and Lamar and nothing going so far. That's terrific. But I think when um, – and you can look this up, who Kevin Sumlin had under him. Now, granted, Kevin Sumlin's definitely declining as a head coach right now. He's kind of shit the bed with the Aggies, and then I think he's he's 0-2 with, with Arizona he's right now. He's shit the bag with Arizona now, too. Yeah, I was going to say he's 0-2 starting at Arizona. Um. So that was his another argument. He goes, it takes a village to win a national championship. And granted, sure, I guess you can say that with um, the Gators, what that, what with Urban that, Meyer. What does that mean? He means like every, it takes it takes a staff, it takes Both a whole team. Yeah. Um, was someone which, was one of you two arguing against that? No, my argument was when we won the national championship, it was because of Cam Newton. We yeah. went and pulled up the games, and there were so many high scoring games. Our defense was giving up. 30 40 points. I mean, we beat we beat Arkansas like 60 something to 50 something or something crazy like that. It's going to be a shootout anyways. Um but here's the thing. No, and, and the argument that Trey was making was not it was not against Cam honestly. It was actually more for the fact that Johnny did it with less is what he was trying to say. It's like right. how it's like how my my argument how I know we don't need to talk about but how Jordan was less height and less weight, like less physical presence. That's not part of that. That, that doesn't go into the equation, though. And and that's that's what we were saying back. I don't think I don't know if he's responding back or even he didn't. Yeah, <laughs> he's. An, I only you know, think he listened to it. Yeah, which is fine. But I couldn't even listen to the whole thing. Who who is this? Trey Lede. Yeah, he shared two classes with you. Stowe's class. Yeah, we went to high school with him. He has a he has a podcast. It's called Today with Trey. You gonna look it up? I'm just kidding, Joe. He didn't probably share a class with you. And also, when you listen to it, dude, it sounds like he's like wheezing and it was just like <sighs> which again if, if he has a medical, I hope he doesn't if he has a medical condition like, yeah nothing to I hope we won't that's it was not kind of it was just kind of odd but yeah it was just yeah it was interesting but anyways um but yeah Joe so you're so who would you start and who would you bench because I, I think we all agree Manziel <sighs> oh my gosh well I, I cut Manziel but then asking me who I want to start between Cam Newton and Tim Tebow that's like I'm going to go Cam Newton just because of what I saw on the eye test when I was watching him play. But that's, I mean, Tim Tebow is just right there. I mean, yeah, you're not going to go wrong. I, you, uh, personally, I think my preference would just be a little bit more towards Cam Newton, just what I saw out of the one year he played at Auburn. But, I mean, Tim Tebow's second in line, and it's not even relatively well, close. that's the thing. T- Tebow, I think, is a better leader. So he's got that intangible for sure. In terms of running – Cam's taller probably makes him slightly better, but in terms of passing, I mean, that's definitely Cam's. Well, okay, I don't want... That's where you go there, I mean. Here's the argument I also want to make, is that one of the arguments he brought to attention was um, doing doing the most with having little around as a quarterback. I have a name that we can throw in the arena that I think did just as much, if not more, than Johnny Manziel that's not even being spoke of. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I mean... He He won a Heisman... Look at the stats he put up. Louisville, he didn't have the same talent around him. Mm. Yeah, Bobby no. Petrino, a, a middle of the road coach. Louis Louisville did not have as much talent as any of those three teams did. He Lamar Jack, he never he didn't have a Mike Evans. Actually, that's that would be interesting if if Trey ever responded. That'd be actually be interesting because I, I agree. Because I'm just I, saying, I agree with that. Lamar Jackson, Is that great Kittle. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I think it's an interesting argument is to throw Lamar Jackson into that as well. Because he just... Uh, very good point. I mean, I guess obviously it's not SEC talent. But, well, th- the way I would counter that, though, is that he had a couple games against Clemson where he 
la- loaded up. The, he still loaded up the stat line and made the well, games close. The, the thing about that is, and it's not. It's well, they they lost to Clemps- Clemson on like the final play, wasn't it? They went down to the wire, and, and the thing he's trying to make is they lost on a fourth, th- fourth, fourth and goal. He just likes Johnny Manziel because you could, in in all honesty, Tebow and Cam, you're not going to probably find two better. I mean, if you do those, just based off the kind of all have the same skill set. But he was just talking about Johnny because he's like he, he has to like Johnny Manziel. If you're going, if you're giving that argument, because Lamar actually that is actually a really good point. They both have Heisman's, neither have championships. In terms of less, Lamar does have less. I don't know the stats. Joe could look that up, but has less what? Less talent. And now in terms of stats, less, I know he has less of a village around him. Yeah. If anything, I you can't argue that you can't argue that Lamar Jackson had more. No, that's right. No, we're saying we're. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Here, look, I'm I'm pulling up. Okay. I'm pulling up the stats right here for Lamar right. Jackson and Johnny Manziel. Stop yelling. Am I, am I yelling? <laughs> What'd what? you say? <laughs> Did they, you stop yelling? <laughs> John, jo- so Johnny Manziel, Johnny Manziel in two years at Texas A&M. Had, we, we, we looked those stats up. Look at Lamar Jackson's stats. Yeah, we on a previous podcast, which I'm sure you listened to. We know right. he's got like 4,000 or did you Or did you not? Or did you listen to it? Or did you not? All right, and then I'm going to go over to Lamar Jackson. <laughs> He did. Actually, could you remind us what man is that? Yeah, I just put it over. What? <laughs> can you just pull it up real quick, Joe, Sounds and remind so us what he asked? Johnny Manziel. Actually, no, let's start with Lamar, and then we'll go to Manziel. Just kidding. I'm kidding. Start with Manziel, and then go to Lamar Jackson, please. So Manziel had 63 touchdowns, 22 interceptions. His career? Yes. And then he had 30 rushing touchdowns, which is pretty good. Lamar Jackson had 69 yeah. touchdowns. What? He did get hurt his second year because we looked at it because he, that's why he said he, he didn't ran. Run as yeah, much. he didn't run as much because he was taking a Manziel yeah. got which again Cam, didn't do Cam and Tebow never at least if they did they never admitted to it I don't think I think they just took it like and minutes. Cam Newton has a has a receiving touchdown he's got it Big Ben so oh no no you no close. do not late do not late hit that um, and then Lamar Jackson had sixty nine touchdown passes twenty seven interceptions. And he ran for 50 touchdowns. So what is okay? Let's but compare. Is compare that, their, how many years is that? That's three. See, that's the problem. You got to do two years. Men's only had two. You got to pick two. Okay, so you got to do his Heisman season for sure, and then you got. You know what I'm saying? So his Heisman season, he had 21 rushing touchdowns and 30 touchdowns and 30 throws. Okay, and what's this? He only had 30 passes. No, he had. He had 30 touchdowns, nine no, picks in his Heisman year, and then 30 had, touchdowns, nine picks. So and then he had three to one ratio. And then he had no, but Which then he, he had 1,571 yards rushing with 21 touchdowns. All right. But so then, what was his? But okay, so that was his best year. That was his Heisman year. What was Manziel's Heisman year? He had uh, 1,410 yards with 21 rushing touchdowns. Do they get Ebron from the Lions? I think they cut. Ebron was cut. I'm so sure. he had the same amount of rushing touchdowns as Lamar Jackson. And then he had 26 throwing and nine interceptions. So actually, Lamar Jackson technically statistically had a better year. But I was going to say, but it's not like, it, wasn't like, it wasn't like that much better, though. No, I'm but just saying. I, if you break it down. No, I agree with you. No, I, I would definitely have Lamar over, which, over Johnny yeah. Mantell as well. Just it wasn't. I thought it was gonna be like because that'd be a tougher argument. That would you'd be say you replace Manziel with Lamar Jackson. I was gonna say I don't know in terms of throwing like who threw a better ball though. Lamar Jackson. Lamar had a better throw. I don't, uh, know. I don't know. Look at their look at their touchdown to interception ratio. Well, I'm not talking about the touchdown. I'm just talking about like in terms of throwing. and look at their completion percentage because I know Lamar Jackson has a cannon. That's, I know he uh, can throw a football. Look at the mind. completion. Yeah, that's good. Sixty-eight point nine for Johnny, and then. Um, he dropped only fifty-seven percent for Lamar Jackson. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that does hurt a little bit. Again, it would be a, it'd be a definitely a great argument to have. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think I'd take Lamar. Maybe a little bit more fun to watch actually, because I know he had some nifty spins and he hit some. Oh. Yeah, he did. He's just so he's like he's like grease. He's slippery. Yeah. <laughs> But I agree with you. It's definitely a better argument than that. <laughs> oh, Blake. You still suck. Well, it wasn't a good throw. It was a terrible throw. Just picked. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. So, we'll see. 
No, I uh, sorry, but to answer your question, I would say start Cam, bench Tebow, cut Manziel. But I think a more interesting argument is Lamar Jackson versus those two. I'm sorry, but no, Cam Newton and Tim Tebow were on a different level than Johnny Manziel. Was. I agree that would be a good argument between Lamar and Johnny. I agree. It, honestly, I I I I still take Lamar though, just because in college Johnny did have some issues with with going to parties. I mean, didn't he go like Texas parties or like do other stuff and. He had some issues in college, too. Who? Here's another Johnny. one. Johnny Manziel or Baker Mayfield? Oh, Baker. In a heartbeat. Baker Mayfield in, in his final year at o- – final last two years at Oklahoma. He okay, let's make incredible. a list of quarterbacks you would rather have than Johnny Manziel. Because right about, now you said Baker Mayfield. How about a list of people we'd, we'd well, rather not have? And watch <laughs> order list. <laughs> Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, Cam Tebow. That's four. So he's fifth on your list. And we're talking strictly college? Yeah. Sam Bradford. Before his, before his injuries, at, yeah, and pro, yeah. Strictly college. Bradford's Sam better. Bradford had one of the best passing no. seasons in college football history in his, the year they went to the national championship game. Maybe Matt Leinard. Oh, wow. Throw it away. No, it's just – the list goes on and on. It's just not a – Yeah, it's – so Manziel really – he put up great numbers, but – you still wouldn't have him on your team. Because then when he was in the CFL um, here recently, he had like – how many picks did he have in that one game? He had four in the first half of a game. His debut. His, his CFL debut. Oh, gosh. And drive him to the ground. Can't do it anymore. That sucks because that's, that's, that's a good form tackle. The thing is what, it, what really kills me is he can't stop his momentum. That's a, that's one where like he can't stop his momentum really, you know. In yeah. my opinion, I, I I don't know. It's one thing if he like lowers his head and right leads with his actually leads you with. You think the they're gonna give it own. to Le'Veon here? <laughs> <laughs> Might go to the bus. <laughs> Jerome Bettis. I wish I'd go to Schuster though. That'd be nice. James Conner. Get him. Touch. That sucks. That sucks. That's his first NFL well, touchdown. Well, we, we have Schuster, so. Dude, can you imagine how it would be for Le'Veon Bell right now if, if Connor, for some reason, just lit it up? And then the Steelers are just like, you know what? Screw you. Screw you. We're not even going to do this. But they'd still have to pay him out the franchise tag, though, this year, wouldn't they? I saw a statistic today that Le'Veon Bell makes more, and he's giving up more money in week one than well, uh, more than uh, Kareem Hunt's making the entire year this year. Well, no. So what happens is he nine hundred ha- like nine hundred eighty k or something like that. He g- he gave up like eight hundred thirty six k for this game, and uh, Kareem Hunt's making like seven hundred eighty thousand this year. That rookie deal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do we got a kick return on our hands or punt return? So. Wow. Wow, Buffalo's not good at all. Buffalo's going to wow. be the worst team in the league this year. Wow. Buffalo will be the-, the rookie. Who is that? First of all, so he has to so he has to sign before week 11 to become a free agent. To work, to go the whole, do the whole free agency thing. So he'll forfeit 8.5 million if he sits out every game until then. But he doesn't get that money. So he'd get at most he'd get 5 and a half million. He, not he, worth it. <laughs> That's not worth it. I want my money. Oh, you mean Le'Veon sitting yeah. out? It get, well, you know, people are different. I think it's an interesting situation. I think, obviously, the power's in the, in the Steelers' court because they're going to be fine without Le'Veon. They're going yeah. to be fine without Le'Veon. There's no doubt about that. So, it's an interesting situation, but I don't know. We'll see. So... We, we had our discussion about the Le'Veon Bell situation. Yeah, I think so it's an many, interesting one. They have so many weapons on offense. I, yeah, me, yeah, Joe and I had some. Well, I guess, I guess the one of the things I just say is that he, like he's look t- at that dude, Kenny Moore, Preston Brown, Janoris Jenkin, okay. Jenkins, Denzel Tyron. Ward, Tyron Matthew. He's a tax <laughs> Holy Brown. shit, dude! It's a lot of picks. So I mean, I'm sure this happens all the time. Just watching red zone like this, it's just a lot coming at you. Um. Yeah, no, go ahead, Ryan. You can give your opinion because, yeah, me and Joe had our had our discussion about it. I mean, I don't know enough about the situation because I just don't really give a shit about the Steelers. I feel bad for anyone that dra- at drafted him in fantasy because you don't know how long his holdout's going to be. No, you don't. People, Th- this thing could go on 
People are saying until, oh, I think until week eleven. People are saying, "Oh, I think he'll play by the end of the month." I'm like, "But you don't know that." And that's what four games, three or four games that he's going to miss. Yeah, but who's to say he's guaranteed to get picked up after I'm, week eleven? I'm not. No one's saying he's guaranteed. Well, no, no, he has to. He has to sign by. He, he's going to. He will. He will be a Steeler. Will he play? I don't know. But he has to sign before week eleven to become. It's, I don't know the rules, but you have to sign before week eleven. Is all I know. I just I, I don't know. He's he's 26 years old. He's a running back. I know that you say you want he wants to save his health, but these are I mean, he's he's a franchise tag this year and he's making an extreme amount of money since it's the second franchise tag, correct? So he gets paid. They have to pay him back additionally the extra 2 million this year as well. But I'm saying he is in his prime time right now to get paid. Or and I know he can get that through a contract, but he's also missing out on nearly a million dollars a game right now. Which, I mean, if if you're wanting to retire early for you know if you want to retire early and, and avoid you know later health issues down the road, I mean, I I get that, but I would just take the money right now when when it's there. I it, I just don't I just don't know what contract he's reasonably looking for, and I I talked to you about this. I just I'm just starting to wonder if he's getting to the point where he's going to overplay his hand, because I think as I said, what happens if the Steelers win this game by? two, three touchdowns, James Conner does just fine. Steelers are just going to be like, well, wait a minute here. Do we really? You have a young a young running back. Oh, well, he's not going to be a Steeler. He's done as a Steeler after this year. There, there's, no, there's no way. Well, I'm, I'm even just saying off the fact that even if he does. You have a young, you have a young healthy running back and James Conner. Well, I guess he would still get paid if, if he signed the contract and then they just kept running Conner, then I guess he'd still be getting paid. Yeah, he's gonna, he, he'll get $5.5 for sure. He's guaranteed that. But oh no! Forty Nineers got it. Oh no! Turnover City, man. Is that, Dal- is, that, out is that Dalvin Cook? You're right. Is that Dalvin Cook? It is. That was a hell of a run until the pump. Do you remember when we were doing a, a podcast? This podcast a year ago, and he tore his ACL. Yeah, I, he's on my fancy. He's on yeah. our fancy team. Yeah, right now he is. You know, me and Joe had him last year. I love rookie running backs. I don't know what it is, but I always draft him. Like I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm obsessed. I don't know why, but I love him because I had Dalvin Cook. I drafted Todd Gurley the year he's a rookie, and Melvin Gordon the year he's a rookie, and now they're like all pros. And of course, I don't have him on my team anymore. Because hey, look, hit me. look at 89. I know it's tougher to do in real. Let's look at 89 here. How bad he whiffs on recovering the fumble right here. <laughs> he didn't. Did he? <laughs> he ju- did he jump it. on top of it and he didn't even make contact with it? He dove over it. He was. Yeah, he was going. To, but anyways, again. Ooh. I, Oh, <laughs> is that, was that? Is that juice? Wow. <laughs> Look at that catch. Dude, he's he's, he's one, the real deal, he, man. He's one of the he's one of the best two, I think. I wish they had Baker throwing to him though. That, was, that wasn't even it. That's incredible. LSU guy, right? Yeah. Those LSU wide receivers, man. They're studs. Him, Dwayne Bow, not bad. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, we. I mean, me and Joe talked about it. We don't have to bore anymore with it. But it's just wow, one for six with three yards. I'm glad Cody picked him in the second round with this pick. Yeah, I. What was that about? I. I don't know. I'm just not a big. I don't think there's really any quarterbacks worth taking in the first couple of rounds, and, unless maybe Aaron Rodgers or. I, I, Rodgers is definitely worth a top three round pick. I mean, he's he's solidified himself as that. And here's the thing, I. I Again, you never know. You never know. Like, what did say Deshaun Watson gets like 400 points? You know, you never know. I mean, it's one of those things. I agree. Um, I mean, based off Joe's strategy of not taking a quarterback last year, he was last place. So I think it's worked out so far. Um, am I right, Joe? Am I right? You're right. Okay, thank that you. That was a great much. throw by Deshaun Watson. But you know what? I followed Joe's strategy this year, and you'll see how we do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I feel good with it. Just you were last place last year with your strategy. So no big deal. Um, you finished last? I thought Cody finished last. Joe did. You know what's even funnier? You know what's even funnier? Is Joe drafted Jimmy Garoppolo last year, and we have Garoppolo on our team this year as well. Because <laughs> Brady was suspended the first four games. There's a Tyrod Taylor we know. All right, put Baker in. The lag. Oh, no. Um, Lay hit. Up roughing the passer on the quarterback. Pass interference. Um... I mean, what, I mean, what else is going on, guys? Well, how else are we feeling? I mean, Ryan, are you ready for your move? I know you leave for never, never ready for a move. California. Yeah, leave for Cali the fifteenth. Was that three months? 
Three months. All the way back December. So, so what all you get to do like there? I don't what, know. What did you, don't they tell you anything yet? <laughs> nope. I'm just going to be helping out, learning. I know I'll have some. They'll give me some research assignments to do. So I mean it'll be it'll be a, it'll be interesting interesting experience. It'll be whoa. Sorry. It'll be a little culture shock for me because it's ooh the West Leonard Coast. Leonard Fournette return questionable with the hammy. That's not good. Whoever took Fournette, not me. Marquis Goodwin. You're oh. gonna be over there smoking doobies. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to be doobie brothers? Smoking doobies with my brothers. Speaking of doobies, did you see the video with Joe Rogan and Elon, Elon Musk? Musk? Oh my god, that, that is was a, hilarious. That, that is internet gold. That was hilarious. That, did you see and it? wasn't that the first time he's ever smoked weed before? No, he said he's tried it before. Oh, it was the first time he had smoked a quote unquote blunt, where it's a mixture of the tobacco and the marijuana. Dude, that was classic. It was. I was. It was pretty funny the way he smoked it and that face he made. Have you seen? I'll show. I got a picture of it on my phone. I see it. That's not good for Fournette people right there. <laughs> That's him after he tried it. <laughs> yeah, <that> Instant meme. <laughs> is it meme or is it meme? It's meme. meme. That, is, that is that is a, that is an in, that's a meme card right like there. It's in the GIF, GIF, not GIF. Oh yeah, that, that will be good for Joe because Joe's got the what's the meme game. It's pretty funny. Do you? He does. Yeah, I do. Is it fun? I mean, the it's first that first card was just poetic, man. Unbelievable. Popatic. Poetic. It was literally after the whole Philadelphia scandal with the archdiocese and our the first was a picture of Pope Francis. And someone had the card of when the neighborhood kid doesn't get molested or something like that and he's pissed. <laughs> it was dude, it was it was nuts. It was literally Good Lord. It was yeah, it was just Is it like is it just like cards against humanity? It's the exact same thing. Except instead of it's just, just of memes yeah. and shit. It's, that would yeah. be fun, dude. Yeah. They're both they're both fun games. <clears throat> I mean they're both fun. I love cards against humanity. Is that Yeldon? Yeah. Touchdown. Touchdown. Should we someone should we go try to pick up TJ Yeldon? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that'd be so funny, you know. Are we tenth? Do we're tenth on the waiver? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, we are tenth on the waiver, though. I think. Because uh, you were last place last year, I think. Actually, let's do it. You, you might. Did you might as well? I don't know who you're gonna cut, but you might as well. I haven't even checked. Have you been looking at your fantasy yet? I haven't even I actually looked. cut Alfred Blue. We haven't been doing good so far. Dude, we're not going to be a good team this year. I'm not doing well either. Well, it just sucks because I think Barkley's going to be a stud, but he's against, you know, Jacksonville's defense first week. Well, you know, Alfred Blue is the – damn, that's the Lou George one. I have Alex Collins. He's a touch. A touch. I only have 10 points. Oh, for Ty, for maybe Tyson Montgomery. Damn, I'm getting my Bay. ass kicked right now. Mm-hmm. I'm down twenty to ten. I think it'll be okay, but I'll check my other league. I know my other league. I have New England. I have New England D, and I have Stephon Diggs. What do you guys personally think about the Chiefs today and the Chiefs season? Moving forward. Eight and eight, nine and seven. And I think they lose today. Okay. Fourteen and two. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. I think it's gonna be a painful year. Think so? A little bit. I think these first six games are gonna be interesting. Could really could go any any way. Dude, great kill for four niners, man. Let's go. Here's my team in my other league that I got to draft live. Ryan the Daddy. Ryan the Daddy. I didn't pick the name. They gave it to me. Okay. How does Mixon have 7.6 points with 23 yards? It's probably a PPR. Ah, that would make sense. Yeah. Ah, good call. I think I have a pretty decent team. Mm. I got the first, I got the second overall pick in this league. And the Did first overall pick in our league, yeah. Right there, right there. Is there a way to check the waiver where you are in the waiver wire order? Uh, online, you should be yeah, it should be right where the standings are. Like if you go to the league page, it should be right in the standings page. You have waiver priority. Aren't you a commissioner? He is. Or does well, he just play the part of a commissioner? I like I like Rogers and Gurley. Mixon's fine. Diggs. 
Amari Cooper is going to be very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. We get up. We're waiver priority. We get number we one. We? So we just got TJ Yeldon. Beautiful. <laughs> well, and we'll have to see. I mean, obviously, if it comes out later in the week, that well, I guess hopefully it comes out sooner than later, but that would be huge. That'd be huge. That'd be great. Again, it's going to come down here. That's going to be an interesting year for um. Amari. Because I just, he Derek. had such a down year. Last he year he did? Such a, yeah, he, he had a good rookie, and then last year was just such a – he's coming back. He was such a down Where year. Where are you going, man. Big Smooth? You done? No, you just, done? You fired. Your, your phone? I don't know where it is. Don't step on the cords. Oh, you're going to walk right in front of the camera? Well, you're going to have to walk to it anyways. <laughs> Whoa. Did they not give him the touchdown? No, they called him out the one, which I actually looking at the replay was probably really close. There you go. Did you guys start Yeldon? <laughs> Just kidding. That's good. I have to admit, though, if Fournette's somehow gone for the year, though, that's going to be huge. And guess what? I had TJ Yeldon his rookie year, too. I, I have, a, have thing. a good rookie year? No. Yeah, it was, he it was, hasn't really been. He's kind of Well, so Fournette. Far. I have to admit, though, now with Jacksonville getting better, Yeldon might be okay. He just they were they were still really bad when he came in two three years ago. That means my boy Corey Grant might get some PT. Yeah, he should. Oh, I mean, it's just man, it's here's your boy Garoppolo about to throw a touch. Yeah, we did start golf though against Oakland's D. Uh, I, just, I just against Minnesota's D. I didn't have a great faith. Dude, we picked up kills our second tight end. That's not be bad. Did you start him? No. <laughs> but the he's had two. He's had two long, long runs. He's had three or four catches too. I think because I think we have. So we have Kyle Rudolph and Jimmy Graham in this and our league that we're in together. And then I'm trying to think. Um, <clears throat> let me see who we have. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one. See, I I have I have Aaron Rodgers in my other league, and I didn't want to pick up. Oh, we have Jimmy. Well, we have Jimmy Graham in both leagues. I didn't want to pick up Jimmy Graham too because I didn't want to have. Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Graham out That's fair. in the same week. That's fair. God, Saints D. Why do I have Saints D? If I would go back, I would text that. Brian is his name? Did he pick Saints D? Is that how yeah. he picked? Yeah. No. Oh. I do. I. Well, hey, you know, I, uh, I don't know. that's interesting. I, I don't know. People, they in the other league, too, they picked him as well. I don't know why. They've let me down pretty pretty hard so far. That's a great catch, though. Honestly, this is Ryan Fitzpatrick doing this, by the way. I'd be looking at the uh, free agents and maybe thinking about something. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. So I mean, what I mean, what else is going? On? What else are you thinking about? Just football, man. That's all I've been thinking about. Okay, so I guess and weightlifting. How's that going? It's awesome, dude. What's your ma- what's your max is at? I don't know, man. I haven't really tested my maxes out. That's I've cool. I've just been switching up different cool, lifts. I've been doing a little more sumo deadlifting nice. as opposed to like trap bar. Yeah. <clears throat> I was able to pull 405 for a few reps. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I've seen some of your... Uh, without my belt, which was... That's not bad, man. Which is good. Okay, this is a stupid question. He just threw a bomb. Oh, my God. He just threw a bomb to nobody. What was that? I have to talk to Kevin. Kevin or Gallagher. Kevin, what is what is Ben doing? He's got two picks. Okay, the first one actually might have been reasonable. That one was just stupid. Anyways, what was your stupid question? What so the point of a belt? Like as opposed to not wearing a belt. Like why so why if you wear a belt, why would you choose not to wear a belt? Um, I, I choose to wear a belt because it helps me create intra abdominal pressure. Like when I'm doing big lifts, like okay. a deadlift or, or a squat. So, so my point is, so if you do that, why, why you choose to not do that? If you, if you use it, if it, why do I choose? If it, if you, if you use it to help you out, why are you not doing it? You know, like, like why would you not use a belt? If you use it, why would you not? Yeah. Why would you start? Well, he's sitting on his phone the whole time. Um, mm-hmm. the, the reason I wouldn't was because I don't. I mean, I want to build up my core, so, so I want to, I, I don't, I'm not going to use a belt up to a point until I know that the weight I'm using is going to compromise form, which okay. would lead to, you know, 
potential spinal injury. Right. Oh, yeah. I just never knew why people who used them stopped using them. That was my, yeah. Well, what you see a lot of, if you go to a lot of commercial gyms, I'm sure you see a lot of people that wear weight belts and they walk around the gym the whole time in a weight belt. Yes. That is dumb. Oh. Or are you talking about specifically for deadlifts and? Well, I just say I just the reason why I, the only times I use a weight belt. Nathan Peterman two for eight with seven yards by way for Buffalo. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. The only, I don't mean you're the expert on this, but thanks. The weight belt I only use it when I'm doing significant weight. But that's the only time you're supposed to use it. Yeah, I, if I'm doing lower rep of the same exercise, I never use it because you had taught me at sixty eight sports that when you're doing lower rep that it compromises your abdominal muscles. Well, yeah, you're just basically, you know, doing the job of your abdominal muscles, and it helps create, like I was telling him, intra-abdominal pressure. And the reason you do that, when you create intra-abdominal pressure, you're actually holding your breath through the movement, which some people, you know, would sound counter counterintuitive, but you create this little fluid ball, and it presses up against your spine, and it basically creates a counter pressure against your sp- your spine, so that way it stays in a neutral position. They definitely. I mean, they they help big time when you're lifting. Yeah, no, yeah. I so I always wonder that. I always just wonder that why I've seen people use it with and then without. I'm just then people wear it all the time or don't. I just like. Although I don't notice it when I bench, though. What the weight belt? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good. That's good. You don't you don't use it when you bench. But aren't there such things as people who use like aren't there like ben- like uh, benching uh, shoulder sleeves or something? There's a benching shirt. Yeah, that, like where. What what is what's the purpose of it? Basically, it forces your arms to not like flare out. I guess is what it does. Yeah, it's supposed to assist with, I guess, adduction. But I've only used. He fumbled it. Oh my gosh! Dude, the amount of turnovers we've seen so far has been unbelievable. Who is that? Who is that? Alfred Morris. He didn't. That wasn't even. That wasn't even poked out. He dropped that, didn't he? Yeah. I give it to the Vikings, man. Even after they got that five-point, uh, wow. I mean, five-yard holding. Wow. All right, throw a bomb to Steph Diggs, please. Oh yeah, Joe, you missed it. You're in the bathroom. Big Ben threw a ball. He threw a bomb. Sixty, first seventy. Off. Threw a bomb. Probably sixty yards, seventy yards. Literally, the nearest guy was a Cleveland Brown. Brown Antonio Brown was twenty yards away from it. He was. Yeah. It was one of the worst. It was one of the worst throw. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but it w- it made no sense. Like he literally threw it. Like, dude, he's not. He threw it to the middle of the field, and Antonio Brown was more towards the sideline. He's at least, I'd say, at least like. fifteen, twenty yards away from it. You think this is his last year, Ben's? Mm-hmm. Or do you think? Ask Kevin, dude. He's a year by year basis guy now. He is, which kind of how sucks old is for the he? Team. Oh, 36, 37? Yeah, gotta he's... be. I was gonna say thirty-seven, thirty-eight. I can look it up. Yeah. But. Another fumble. Oh, shoot. That's good for us, Joe, because then we got my – dude, this game, 48 points in the first 25 minutes. Oh, that sucks for your defense, though. That doesn't go against my defense? Yeah, it does. How? Points. Points. doesn't matter how they score. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? Why did you take the – I didn't. It it was – Brian, he wasn't there. Oh. You would have known that, Joe, if you were there. So, yeah, so – he hates me so much. I'm just kidding, Joe. You're a good guy. I would never have drafted the Saints defense. That is just good, bad. Good pickup by the defender, though. Buccaneers looking pretty good in week one. But I will admit, Buffalo is definitely by far the worst team in the league this year. There's no doubt about that. More so than the Jets? I think that'd be a hell of a game. <laughs> I'll find it twice. Be the um, toilet bowl. I will give the Jets this. At least with they, at least they got Sam Darnold. I think it's at least going to be an interesting experiment. Whereas the Bills with Nate. Okay. That's got to be something, yeah. The Bills with Nathan Peterman, though, that's going to be. That's just a joke, man. Just a freaking joke. Oh, Barry Church. Come on, Barkley. I don't know. The Giants have a good line, or are they pretty average? Pretty average. Yeah. I was gonna say the, the Jags. Is just, Jags it's a tough, defense, it's a tough yeah. first game. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks for us is this first week we got a couple tough matchups. I think. But um, but yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks for telling me the belt thing. I just yeah, I just yeah, I thought it was interesting. 
How did I catch Great that? Great throw. How did I catch that? Did he pick it off? Oh, I thought he did. Holy crap. AJ Green's got a fumble and a drop ball today. What is happening? And there's been like 40 turnovers. Yeah, and Ryan Fitzpatrick has 210 points. yards and three 24 touchdowns. 24 fancy points. There he John is. John Ross, Joe. Freaking receiver we have on our team as well, our last pick. John Ross is better than A.J. Green. Wow. That would happen. Okay. We start Nelson Aguilar, John Ross gets a touchdown. Um, he had point. Dude, he had negative points last year. Who did? John Ross. Did he get hurt? Yeah, he had like a he had like an eight yard catch and then he had or eight yard run and then he had a fumble. Well, that's a good pick, Joe. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> but at least maybe you know some weeks will be nice. I don't know. It's just Well Saquon Barkley. Uh, that 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 was my pick, so if he fails, that's on me. I, I just I love rookie running backs. I don't know why. I really do. I have a really big fetish, I guess, for him, I guess. I don't know. But that's weird. I mean, whatever good. floats your boat, dude. No, nah, do but you, dude, do man, thing. we're both proud of you, though, man. I hope you, I hope everything goes well. Thanks, man. Over and proud uh, of you guys too, Cali. You know, Can you smoke a. Di- oh, I already said that, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Can you say something else, or you just want to watch football all day? Another one. Um, is there something else I want to say? Anything productive to the podcast? Ow! What did he do? Oh yeah. Any, anything you want to talk about? Anything? At all? Mm, no, I don't. I don't think I have anything. <laughs> nothing. Th- nothing. Nothing has really been going on in the political world the last couple of weeks. Nothing. Nothing at all. At all. Zero. Not okay. Well, one no, thing. On, Not how about on. Brett Kavanaugh? Or you haven't haven't cared much about Brett? Or the fact that people are getting thrown out? I don't of even the, want to give that attention. So you don't care about Brett Kavanaugh? No, I. Well, apparently you don't. You're not giving attention. Okay, I guess the one thing that would be funny to talk about is Cory Booker. <laughs> his Spar- uh, was, Spartacus, his, Spart- <laughs> his Spartacus moment that didn't. But wait, out. Ryan, nothing uh, happened in the political world, so maybe we shouldn't talk about it. What do you right. think? Right. Jo- Joe, are you still on, or are you done? No. Um, right. So basically, he was um, he was taking a stand and doing a little act in congressional hearings for uh, Brett Kavanaugh, and he. Uh, yes. Oh my gosh! He has negative points unless he has rushing yards. Oh my gosh! The, I, I just there's the amount of turnovers is ridiculous. I mean, again, New England D. I don't normally watch red zone, so maybe it's because I'm just watching red zone. It just happening like, and they're just throwing that. But anyway, no, there, sorry. There's been an a, there's been a my, astronomical amount. My apologies, Joe. I interrupted you. Continue on with the Cory Booker thing. No, but Cory Booker was basically just he was throwing a. Wow. Um, but basically, he was just grandstanding and basically just making an ass of himself and, and acting like there were some documents that weren't released that were supposed to be released. And um, little did he know that those documents the next day had been released and then he was still grandstanding. So his little uh, Spartacus moment was over. Yeah, wasn't he saying, like, I broke the Senate rules? He, yeah, he was basically wanting – yeah, he was basically wanting to um, – he was trying to drop his little ball sack and then try to impress people, but it didn't turn out to go so well. Yes, and it, it, it was so bad. Th- this gives you an idea of how bad it was. He was getting called out by CNN and MSNBC. No way. Was he really? Yes, yeah, he was. Yeah, I, remember, I did see that. Because they, they, they were basically they were asking yeah. about it. They were basically saying, what were you doing? And they were like, weren't those documents released? Oh, yeah. and he goes, oh, Anderson Cooper, yeah. Okay. And then he tried to say, like, oh, they weren't released until after I had already brought them to light. I did it. Okay, I heard of the answer, Cooper. Yeah. Well, it's really fun. It's it, that I guess that's, that's kind of an interesting because in in a week, Cory Booker, who was possibly a contender for the twenty twenty spot or any future presidential um, run, he he took a huge hit this this last week um, in terms of his reputation. Yeah, he he was trying to grandstand and he took a he took a home run swing to try to get attention for himself and it failed miserably. And uh, he whiffed. Idiot. He whiffed. Just like, what's the point? Yeah, look at Connor. Le'Veon who? Sucks, man. I should have thought about that. That's my fault. Is that Juju? There we go. I love me some Juju. Um, yeah, and then what about uh, 
What about Camilla Harris and her question too? Oh my gosh. Well, I saw she made like Hold a on. video. She nothing, made like nothing an really happened. Nothing really happened though. Yeah. So we should watch. Didn't she make like an edited video too? Why is Joe? Yeah, hate she me? edited a video that basically Why made. Why does Joe hate me, Ryan? But that basically know. was he, she was trying to her hardest to create this little like this little snit bit of a video to make it sound like he was um, very um, anti-abortion, which he I think he is anti-abortion. But yet again, she was trying to make it seem like he was out there um, shaking the can, choosing his words like carefully or something like that or something. Like that, or yeah, and it, she she's just trying to fish to try. I I don't know why this is this just people are just getting all up in her up in arms about this whole, uh, the, you know, Brett Kavanaugh and women's rights and, and the abortion issue. Um, oh. as, I think I probably even said it on this podcast. If Even if Roe versus Wade did get overturned, that doesn't mean that abortion becomes illegal. Right. It is the like states. It comes down to the states. states, and there's still going to be, there's still going to be dozens of states that are going to have it legal. Right. So I... I don't know, but that obviously that whole conversation trans that the abortion argument obviously is a whole podcast in itself. But yeah, that it, it's just I don't know. They're trying. It, it, it's just really interesting that they're trying so hard to push against Brett Kavanaugh. And you know the funny thing about this too. Oh my god! That's Big Ben pick three, third pick of the game. Well, now Smith Schuster is like a horrible pick, man. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying about her making the him her making that little snippet of Kavanaugh. He's anti-abortion, but oh, oh it, yeah, the Kavanaugh is that Trump could have actually picked. There was a couple people that he could have picked for the nomination that were so much more conservative than Brett Kavanaugh. Forget, You're shaking the a, camera. A, Amy something. Amy Barnett or Barrett. Yeah, and then um, another, uh, Mike Lee. Yes. Yeah, I think the other one was. I think the other one was though. I think he was still around Kavanaugh's views on that. But yeah, those two definitely were. I would. I would love to see Amy. I think she'd been really good for the. But. But yeah. So, anyways, she made that snippet. Try again, just trying to. She edited it just to, to make her, to make herself look better. I can't stand her. Oh, that was a smart play. Wow, Throw wow. crazy, dude! What is good is going on? Well, I should I shouldn't say this because every Why team's they trying to, a timeout. Every team's trying to fill. Why are they not calling a timeout? They have a timeout. They want to save it. For the second half. Let's see what play they run here. What? What was the point of that? No, I agree. I agree. <clears> with you. I agree. With you. you could have called a timeout. Let's try the six. And then ran. Like I, a deep out or something, set up a field goal. Yeah, that was dumb. Do you think they're going to get Daniel Carlson out there to kick a bomb? About to. <clears throat> Six <throat> seconds. You still have enough time to try to run one more play to the sideline, real quick. Yep. Might as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's just getting out of hand a little bit. But because uh, who who all was escorted out of there? Uh, Piper Peribo. Wasn't she an actor? Yeah, yeah and then uh, Linda Sazir. Uh, Sorcer- 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 no, Sorcer- Sazir. No, Sorcer- Sazir. I don't know how to say something. Her. Something. Yeah. She, didn't she did, call for like? Didn't she's she? An, well, she's she's openly an anti. Semite. She's anti-Semitic. Yeah. How? How do you? Is that not hypocritical? Dude, it, it's it's it is really amazing to see alliances that are created in order just to push your political agenda or just the tribalism. It's just really incredible. Yeah, I think that I still think the most I think the most ridiculous example of the tribalism is when um, Trump called MS-13 animals, and then <laughs> left came into into the defense of the MS-13 gang members. I think was the most. Uh, yeah, that was pretty stupid. Oh, he, I don't think he was touched. Yeah, still run it in, though, because then they can review it, can't they? No, I don't think if the whistle blows. I know. We've been a 75-yard touchdown. Yeah, that's right. Right. You guys have Michael Thomas? Yep. In one of our leagues. In the uh, Nottingham League, not the Heisenberg League. Um, but still, it's just, you know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just... 
I'm glad you got me interested in Ben Shapiro, though. I, I love his podcast. I think they're very informative, very unbiased. Um, even though he has a libertarian, you know, libertarian well, he is, flavor, he has bias. He but he's, he's at least well, he admits it. But he does he does criticize. But he infor- I think he informs it. He informs it in a way that's neutral. He does that criti- he does criticize those people that share his ideology. Yeah, right. Sorry, he does possess a bias, but he also is able to tell the information in a neutral f- manner. In my opinion, I think he's able to say, "Hey, this is what happened. I don't like this, or this is what happened. This was good. That's a fumble." Oh my. Halftime. <laughs> Dude, this is oh my god. This has been a crazy first half of football. Yeah. Well, that's back. Oh, can't wait to the Chiefs. Mahomes probably will have like five picks and they'll win like forty six to forty three or something like that. We'll have five picks, five touchdowns. Right. And he'll Short. run and he'll get hit on the on the like the thigh and they'll call a targeting play and Rivers will cry or something. I don't know, you know the whole thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rivers is already crying right now. And obviously, Joe, we need to talk about the fact you are gonna win the bet between you and I. Um, nice kick. Is that Vinatieri still? How far was that? Sixty-one yards. Well, it sounded like he said. No, it wasn't sixty-one. Fifty-one or 61? he was out or around was midfield. I was say he said he said a one. I, I would believe fifty-one more, but he did say definitely fifty-one or fifty-one. But yeah, Joe, congratulations! You're gonna win the bet. Probably not this week. Probably the week after the Royals bet. Mm-hmm. I was say if you want to pull up the standings, Joe, maybe see what the Royals are at, but. Or as Jeff said, you can pull up your little website. Joe. Joe. <laughs> Let's go. Still could have been 75 yards. But. It's all right. Hey. Hey. What's going on there, Jamal? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. What was I looking up? <laughs> uh, the Royal Royals. standings. Wow, Michael Thomas wide open. The Royals are forty-seven and ninety-four. So twenty-one games left. Correct. They just got to win. Uh, in order for me not to lose, they just have to go six, six and fifteen. <laughs> so I have to have five. And s- Again, if they if they had three less wins in that whole situation, forty-four ninety-seven, it would have been a heck of a conversation. It would have been a heck of a conversation. But yeah, I, I just don't see the Royals go five and sixteen. I don't see it right. was that home stand that did it in for you. Yeah, only won seven, seven out of eight. And, you know, seven and one home stand. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that Cleveland can't beat a, the worst team in the league, but hey, that's fine. No, it's, it's a good win. I gave you the 20 already. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? He dropped the ball. Oh, it's still free. Oh, it. <laughs> Dude, this has been unbelievable so far. Um, I would give wow. it twenty bucks if somehow something crazy happens. But yeah, that was a good that was a good call, man. I thought uh, did not think you were gonna pull that off. Denzel Ward has two picks today for the Browns. Dude, I, it's, I mean, first of all, Tom Brady didn't have a pick forever, and he got a pick in the first like six his sixth pass of the year. That's bananas. B a n a n a s. Capital B. To the A. To the E. <laughs> but so guys what's your prediction for the Chiefs game today 37 uh no I'm sorry uh I'm gonna guess th- I'm gonna guess uh um 37 to I'm gonna guess no no not that high. I'm gonna go th- I, uh, 34 30, 34 to 34 to 27 chargers 30-27. The Chefs. Chiefs? I don't. Yes, the Chefs. That's that's hilarious. You're picking the Chiefs to win. They said he caught it. No idea what the catch rule is. Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> what the nobody hell, can, dude? Nobody can hold on to the ball right now. <laughs> Wait, first of 
Oh yeah, the ref the refs can't challenge under two minutes on a under two minutes. It only can be on turnover, right? It can't be on a catch. This is weird. So like, can they not challenge it? Under two minutes, the the Texans cannot challenge, but they could call a timeout and have the refs look at it again, and they can they can inquire about the refs looking at it again. But yeah, I guess they can't physically do it. That was not a catch. He didn't complete the process. This is the better angle. This is the better angle. But but th- there's a new rule though. The rule he doesn't have to complete the process though. I thought the new rule was. I think the new rule was that. God, it bewilders me that the NFL cannot figure out what a catch is. Well, they can't figure out that. They can't figure out the anthem policy. They want to figure out a lot of things. Nice catch. I think it honestly, on the Chiefs winning or not, or at least coming in. What's your prediction? Well, I think you know. I can't per se, but I have to. I mean, it depends on Barry. If Barry plays, I think it's a one possession game. I think Chargers still are the better team just because Chiefs have a lot to figure out with Mahomes. And, you know, I, I have no idea what Reed's going to do because I heard Mahomes say it was about 25, 30% of our playbook was, was shown. Like, that's a lot of playbook that we haven't seen yet as fans and as other and opponents. And you don't know how Mahomes is going to do. You know, is Mahomes going to be good? Is Mahomes going to have his rookies? I mean, there's so much that can go into play. I'd say they lose if Barry's not playing, definitely by 14 points or more. If Barry's playing, that's going to be a one possession game. What's your prediction of the score? Uh, I'm going to go Barry's very questionable, even if he plays not 100%. So I'm going to go probably 34 to, let's say, 20, 34, 21, something like that. Wow. So. All right. I guess the other prediction is does Keenan Allen actually play a whole game? I think I have Keenan Allen. He's a, no, he's, he's, he's a top. He's so a, I need him to. He's All a top, up. I think, top 10 receiver if he's healthy. Oh, he is. I, okay. I think he is, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, who wants to guarantee that Gronk's getting a touchdown here? Yeah, probably. I am not going to win this week. <laughs> I have 4.8 points. Just watch. They're just going to go right to Gronk. Right now, the Saints defense has has gotten me What'd zero points. Joe, I couldn't hear you over that. It doesn't look like Gronk to me. Can you tell? Who is that? Is that Gronk? No. Nope. Okay, sorry. Well, they. I guess they – did they double cover him? No, he was single covered. Good call, though. You want to hear what my defense is projected? Dude, Joe hates projected? me so much. My defense is projected point zero four points. That's not good, man. Why would you pick the Saints? I'll kill you, man. Here's the thing, though. We have 16 points, and we only have our quarterback and defense like having gone. Like, it's not looking good for us, Joe. It's going to be a rough year, fantasy. Does Brady ever slow down? He just gets better, man. He's like a fine wine. Gets better as he ages. Let's go. Vino. Noir. Oh, man. So what else is going on, man? I'm just trying to figure out what the hell's going on right now in the NFL football world. Well, Buffalo sucks. That's for sure. A lot of teams have look like they suck right now. The Steelers look like they suck. I mean, I will give them this. It's, there are some sloppy conditions, and it is the first week. A lot of time to play, but I have to admit. And I didn't realize, I guess, Big Ben's committed to playing three more years. So I thought Big Ben might be done, but. Does Baltimore look good, or they just look good because they're playing Buffalo? Could be both. Because Alex Collins has a has a fumble, so that hurt me a lot. Honestly, Baltimore's not. I shouldn't say awful. I, I still think they're not great. I think they're awful though. But Bill, Buffalo's awful. Buffalo, I think Joe said Jet, Jets and Buffalo are going to be some epic matches. Hmm. What do you think? I'm just. I, what do you think of all these turnovers we've witnessed in the first half? In the first half, yeah. Well, I, you can't even chalk it all up to weather conditions either. Yeah, Big Ben throwing up the ball to literally Cleveland safety. Yeah, I, I will admit, I think Cleveland's defense. I, Cleveland's gonna be a better team for sure. I think they're gonna need to go to uh, 
Mayfield before it's over. I don't think Tyrod. Tyrod's not bad. I think he's I think he's okay, but they're going to have to go to Mayfield I think before it's over. So who are all the rookie quarterbacks that are starting? Darnold and uh, – that it? Uh, is Rosen in Arizona or no? No. Who's in Arizona? I'm not I, – I don't know. Is Carson Palmer still playing? <laughs> no, it's not Carson Palmer. <laughs> wow, Peterman, 17 pass yards. Flacco, 21 completions. <laughs> 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 oh my god do you yeah, think I, do you think they put josh allen in now if he gets out of hand you might as well i, I don't know why they didn't start with him it's I, already I it's 20 to zero i mean dude how can you sit there as the coach and say that nathan peterman is a better decision than josh allen right like you draft him as your first round pick that's a catch that is that mike is that michael crabtree yeah Got that on recording. Is there any blood with that? No, any I blood with that? I didn't do anything. So the question remains, who is – I guess let's just talk about who are your playoff teams and who's your Super Bowl champion? Chiefs. Okay, Joe, you want to have a reasonable <laughs> answer, please? <laughs> Green Bay versus the, the, the Packers versus the Patriots. I'm going Packers. You want Packers? Go, go green, go. Minnesota. Okay, Joe, I have a question. And, well, Ryan, too, but that's a heck of a catch. So, really, I mean, you have the Rams, the Eagles, the Vikings, the Falcons, the Saints, and the Packers. And the Packers are, is your best team out of those six? I'm saying Vikings. I'm saying the Packers, yeah. Vikings so, have a better quarterback this year. They have a really good defense. Packers, I don't think, have a great defense. I don't think they have a defense to carry on through the playoffs. What did it say? Eric Berry's not playing. Oh, that's a weak call. Yeah, I didn't. The Chiefs have no chance. Damn it. Is that his knee? Heel. Oh, it's heel, isn't it? Did it say heel? Oh, yeah, okay. it's his heel. Yeah, he, you know, he did tear his ACL. Is it the same? Is three it years or six years ago? But is it the same heel that he tore his tendon, his Achilles tendon? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming same. he has had heel problems his whole like the last like ten years of his life. But apparently, I think that's the one that's still acting. That's not good. Yeah, never mind. I, I changed my I changed my prediction. It's gonna be at least two possessions now. I think it'll be thirty thirty seventeen. Chargers. I mean, there's no way the Chargers don't put up at least 30, which is good that we have Tyrell Williams playing now. It will. It'll be interesting. Wait, Joe, should we look Should we look to try to get T.J. Elman in that league too? Wow, well, Odell was wide open. <laughs> Come on, Eli. Worst quarterback in the league for that. I'll say, Joe, look, I don't, I don't know where we're on the waiver – So he passed up throwing the ball to Odell and decided to throw it over the head of Saquon Barkley. Oh, my God. I think he, that was a face mask. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought that was just the, the neck. Was that a face mask? Big time face mask. Watch this. He spun his ass around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, he's like an owl, dude. I gotta be honest. I think that deserves to be ejected. He's like an owl. Personally. I know it's not a targeting call, but that that's that's like life threatening. Like that's that's when you do your neck and stuff like that. Holy I think that crap. actually legitimately should have been called on. Oh. That was rough. Super rough. Yikes. Watch, he's like out for the year. Oh, fuck, I'd be so pissed. Beer. Oh, hey, here we Dalvin go. Here Cook. we go. Watch him go to Jarvis Lanier for a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Complete opposite. So I watched the most, uh, one of the most disturbing movies ever the other day. Which one? You ever seen it? It's called Tusk. Have you ever heard of it? 
No, but give me the give me the uh, the so synopsis. It, it's got uh, Johnny Depp's in it. Um, who's the kid from uh, Jeepers Creepers? Is the original one, Justin Long. Justin Long, yeah. Oh, the guy from Dodgeball. Yeah, Justin Long's in it. Uh, Haley Joel Osment is in it. Oh yeah, she's nice. He. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He. Yeah, the guy from The Ring. No, the Sixth Sense. I only have a nickel. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Anyways, Tusk, Elephant, go. Tusk, nope, not even Elephant, Rhino. Walrus. Um, well done. So it's about it's about this. Dude. It's based on it's based on a podcast or something. It's weird. It's based on a podcast. When story. was it made? Twenty fourteen. That makes sense. Okay, sorry. Go on. So Justin Long. It's about Justin Long. He's like a pod. He's a podcaster in this movie, and they like talking about crazy stuff that you know they find on the internet. And so he's going to Canada. To meet with this kid who's like, he's like a viral internet sensation and he's going to go do like an interview with him for his podcast and he goes and the kid ends up, acts it, I think like, I, I, it, it's irrelevant, but the kid ends up can't, he can't do the interview. So he's like, I'm in Canada. I might as well see if I can, you know, find someone that has an interesting story. So he sees this letter uh, posted on the wall at a bar. And it's this old old uh, dude who used to live at live at sea, and he's t- in the letter he talks about he has all these crazy tales. So Justin Long calls him up, and they schedule a meeting to, so he can do like an interview with him. Oh man, just overthrew him. And so he goes to do this interview with this guy, and it turns out this guy is a disgruntled um, seaman. <laughs> Who's also like a serial killer? What is going on? Damn, he's ready to fight, dude. What is going on? <clears throat> anyway, so it turns out this dude's like a serial killer and he wants to turn a human being into a walrus. And so that's basically the premise of the movie is he gets he's abducted. He ends up getting abducted by this guy, he gets drugged. <clears throat> and this guy tries turning him into a walrus, and so it's it's really disturbing because like he cuts his legs off, and he has this 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 uh, walrus suit that's made out of human skin from the people he's mur- people he's killed, and he like sews his arms up like this, so he has like you know little walrus flippers. What and are we talking about here? A very disturbing movie I watched. Tusk called Tusk. Yeah, with Justin Long. Yeah, and you heard. You just, uh, shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> I voice a quant. It's really, it's really messed up. I, I think you should watch it because you're a really messed up guy. All right, I, I would like to see that stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's all, I, dude. Movies are movies are fun, man. It's just, it, it's amazing the imagination. Yeah, it's just essentially what a movie is. Well, it's just, it's just like, <laughs> like, okay. But here's the thing. Like it's when you when Stephen King came out and said I literally probably murdered people I wasn't able to like write these books. It's just like who in the world thinks about hey thinks about I want to make a movie about a guy that wants to kill people and make him into a walrus. Like what is going through your mind? Like what happened to you as a kid? Like what in the world? I think it's a good way to project evil thoughts or messed up thoughts you have. Put it on screen. Very true. It's a way to get it out there and yeah. not bubble it up to Wow, dude, Peterman. Oh, my God. Because um, I usually don't like horror movies. Really? Yeah. Honestly, I mean... I'm intrigued by... I like sci-fi horror, but I don't like, you know... Like, like psychological thrillers are very interesting. I think it's horror films are interesting because, like, The Nun coming out. I do want to see The Nun. That see, that shit freaks me out. See, I want to see that one. Like, The Conjuring, I was never into it. I know it's, like, Conjuring related, but it just interests me a lot for some reason. Yeah, was well, that is it was is the nun supposed to be like a spin off of the conjuring? Yeah, it didn't do very well in the ratings. The nun didn't do very well? Here's the thing. I don't like to look at the ratings because they don't they don't like the same things I'm gonna like. You know what I'm saying? Like these critics are harsh. And if it's if it's something that they don't I mean it's you know what I'm saying? Like I know you're a big like ratings guy, but I think that's more like like award winning stuff. I don't think the nun's a movie that's intended to win an award. It's just a you know, like one of those stupid ones that are supposed to be you know It's just supposed to scare the bejesus out of you. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's not meant to be not like, well made. No, it's not. Yeah. yeah, not like. Did you ever see that movie Hereditary? No, was I it heard. Good? I haven't seen it. I heard it's 
really messed up and well, really well done. Joe would probably think it sucks. Go look it up, Joe. Do see if it see the I check out. Joe, the do you hate me? Do you really hate me, Joe? I think he does. Okay, he's not even answering me. I'm I'm looking at the thing that you guys told me to look up. Do, did you like Ryan more or Jeff more? No, I did well in the box office. See, he didn't. Look at that. He didn't respond. Didn't yeah. Do you like Ryan more or Jeff more? When was this movie released? See, look at he's not even talking. Now, you, Ryan, you asked the question. Either what? earlier this year or last year. Uh, See, he's answering that. Now, ask the question, Ryan. You ask it, and he'll answer it. See, look at that. Joe, do you like Jeff more or Ryan more? Um. <laughs> I started saying that. That's fair. That's fair. I, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. I deserve that. No, I plead the fifth. Nah, it's too late. You already answered. So you that's I didn't say fifth. his name. You did. Kind of did. You said half of it. Well, when we play the podcast back, I guess we'll hear. No, I deserve it, man. I'm not a nice guy, but it's not true. Isn't Joe a stud though? Hosting the podcast, giving up his apartment, a couple hours. Not bad. Swell guy. Swell guy. Hey, Nick Chubb. Yeah, he he has like negative points. Well, it's too bad they didn't, Carl- they didn't sign Carlos Hyde this year, man. Nick Chubb probably would have been getting at least split. Yeah. What's your favorite horror movie then? Um. Gee, six fuck. Uh, that's tough, man. I mean, the older I think the o- older horror films are actually more quality and probably better. I think Joe would agree with that, right, Joe? Um, oh, by the way, we put how much on this game? I'm pretty sure you said Steelers by double digits. No, we did not put any money down. Mm, Ryan, did we not? I think we did, Joe. That's a touchdown. I say, what were they even discussing? I don't know. Is he trying to say he stepped out? I don't know. Um, Looks like you might actually, Joe. You answer that for uh, you, you, you. I think you've watched more horror films than just psychological thrillers. Than I've probably watched more psychological thrillers than I have actually horror films. I think probably the older, maybe the Halloweens, maybe the Freddy Kruegers. Just I know they're yeah. Some of the original Thrashers are better than some of the newer ones they try to do. Um, scary. Uh, if you just go overall, the scariest movie I've ever seen. Uh, that's a tough one. I, I like the original It. I don't. I mean, that was. I didn't like the original It. Well, I, considering the time it was made, I think it was well done for the time. I mean, that's a good point. Because nowadays you can do so much things. CGI. You can do a lot more things that with today's stuff than you can. I like the psychological aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Like the Texas Chainsaw Massacres are nice as well. And like when they're in the when they're in the is it the hotel they're in when they're adults. Oh, and talking about It. Yeah, and he thinks he's with that chick in there. I think he's, so. He's really with it, dude. It's that part was like dude, messed up because he was like trying to get trying to get down. It's interesting. It's interesting for sure. Um, but like at the end when it's like a big ass spider, weird spider thing, like that right. part. I, I, that part I was like, it takes it just kind of like I was like, come on, kills a little this bit. This is dumb. Yeah, I got he made it stupid. Yeah. Silence of the Lambs. Yes. Silence of the Lambs is great. The one scene that still gets me is when he has the dude eating his own brain. Is is The Shining more of a thriller or a horror film? Because I did like The Shining. Mm, thriller. Okay. Then, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I was, I've, I've, I've always... Yeah. Then, I mean, horror film-wise, Silence of the Lambs. Classic. Yeah. I want to mention Anthony Hopkins... <laughs> Oh no! It's unbelievable. Do you bench Jameis Winston after this game? Oh, he's gone for the next two. I don't. I think you have to stay with Winston. Took him to the ground. So if you if you do like a rugby style tackle, and you take him to the ground, that's fine. Like a, like you do like an alligator roll, you hit him and roll, so that way you don't land on top of him. I, I guess is I, that how you're supposed to do it now? I think it's just stupid. Like when it, and if when it becomes such a soft sport. Yeah, I don't know how to do. I don't know how you. 
Because as a defender, man, you've, you were taught to ta- tackle your whole life. I hate th- I hate that I have the Saints defense. I'm so mad about that. I would be looking right now. I'd be on your. I'd literally be looking right I'll now. I'll do man. it after this episode. Yeah, let's go. I don't think you can. I don't, I don't know if you drop them per se, but it's cause yeah. It's, you might. I think you drop them. They're looking pretty bad. Well, I here. Let's. Talk I'm not saying the Buccaneers are a bad team or like a a great like a phenomenal team. Let's check, what's, bad team. Let's check what's available for you, man. Let's check what that's the part. Yeah, who's who's available? <laughs> what was? What the hell was that? Is he on? Oh my god! Dude, our leftist tears team is just dying, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny that the way you say that. The leftist tears are dying. I don't think we have a bad team. Just they're playing the sloppiest, you know. They're gonna give it to pay. Are they going to give it to Peyton Barber here? Oh, cool. Maybe we don't have him starting. We don't have him starting? No. That was Pittsburgh's defense. Carolina's defense. New England's defense. I'm not going to say who I'm going to pick up. I don't think Falcons' defense is that bad. No, they have a good D. Pittsburgh, New England, Carolina, Atlanta. Those are the top. As I, I take that. There's that Saints defense. <laughs> Shut up. Go deep to Deshaun Watson for the love of God. That's negative five. You're up point five. Negative point seven. Nice. So he's got one point six points. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I just saw Jameis Winston on the sideline. I thought Jameis Winston right now was creating. Oh, my gosh. Dude, okay, to answer your question, I think you still have to start Winston. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm a big believer, big believer, and if a guy gets injured, I think he should still keep his spot. I'm not, unless like an out, like, the thing that happened to Tony Romo, I think that was kind of a low blow. I think they shouldn't have started Dak like that and kept him in, but that's just me. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I get that. Obviously, he's towards the end of his career, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of that. So, in my qu- I'd, I'd keep, even though it was just a suspension, I'd still keep let Winston come back and have a starting role. What about Elvis Gerbach and Rich Gannon? Jesus. Well, I was not around then for, like, in terms of, like, my – you were around. As a, as a kid, though. I was as a kid and really get it. Um, well, I guess I should. James Conner, two touchdowns today. You guys should definitely should have definitely picked up James Conner. Well, the problem is we all could have picked him up. And Kevin's a Steelers fan that day. The rich get richer, man. Uh-oh, still time for a Big Ben pick. Still, still, what su- still what sucks is though. What sucks about though is. Connor's a, a first round, second round talent just because he's going to get the ball all the time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hello. He's got a whole. He's got both his hands on his arm. Oh, Juju might have gotten a big catch, Joe. No, no it, was, Ju- it was Marcus Wheaton. Four receptions, one hundred two yards. 102 yards for Juju? There we go. He had a big catch. I was Juju. Yeah, I lied. It wasn't Marcus Wheaton. I was going to say. I was trying to ruffle Is your he feathers. Is still in there? Even still playing? I don't know. That's holding. Jiminy Christmas. Dude. The Steelers look bad. Kevin's probably freaking out right dude, now. Dude, he's pi- I'm texting him right now. He's Dude, he's pissed. What's he saying? Well, he's 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 not. He thinks is he ben, using expletives. No, he thinks Ben will pick it up, which is fine. I mean, again, sloppy conditions, but it's just, dude. Cleveland, dude. And the thing is, people have to realize. I don't think Cleveland's actually that bad of a team. Defensively, they're they're definitely top ten, in my opinion. I think they're top ten. Yeah, I, re- I really want to fight your friend right now that picked the Saints defense. <laughs> just kidding. No, it wasn't a good pick. But um, hey, you guys held them to a field goal. 
New Orleans held them to the... the uh, it wasn't my the, pick. Okay. But again, man... Not my pick, not my defense. The good thing is, though, you're going to have... You're going to be... I mean, you have four decent defenses to choose from. Well, not to mention Pittsburgh plays Chiefs next week, so that could be interesting. Actually, honestly, okay, I knew, I, I know if I, heard, I, if I were you, who I'd pick up. Who? New England's defense. They play the Jets. I did. And, but I was going to say, you well, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Touch. Flag. <laughs> Damn it. Flag. And you know who I dropped? I'm, I'm, pretty, sure, I'm you, pretty sure Kevin got him too. I don't know if you'll agree with this, but you, do you know who I dropped? Should I have dropped the Saints defense? Uh, if you can get New England's defense, then yes. If if you had to get Pittsburgh, maybe not. Or may, not Pittsburgh. If you had to get like Green Bay, or Atlanta, maybe not. I dropped Nick Chubb. Uh, I mean, that's probably fair. I don't. I think he's the third back. Hard Hyde's definitely number one. Duke's number two. <coughs> to a bird flying away. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was watching. I was looking at the bird. Bird is the word. Bird. Bird. Bird is the word. Man, uh, Cleveland's only given up fourteen points. To Pittsburgh with three turnovers or two turnovers, right? Mm -hmm. Two picks. <sighs> oh, of course. Wow. Pat has Kirk Cousins. That's nice. Oh, your boy, George. He's a target, though, dude. That's going to be good. Oh, by the way, Goodwin had an, inter had an injury, by the way, Joe. <laughs> oh, no. Do you lose more points if it's a pick six, or it just goes down to a pick? No, Minnesota's defense would get six, but Garoppolo would get... Well, good thing is we got, we got Goff, Goff starting. You, oh, we have Goff starting. Okay. Let's see if Gronk has another four, uh, another suspension tackle. Now, who's number thirty three? He just hurt his. He has knee. a pick. He has a pick and a fumble recovery today. Who? Uh, Tyron Matthew. Yeah, yeah. Good for him. I wish the Chiefs could have got him. Yeah, I kind of wish that too. I was like, I'm gonna have to get home in a little bit. I want to get some food. I mean, I want to watch the Ravens yeah, Chiefs. Don't worry, we'll wrap it up here in a second. Um, but yeah, I will check out the Tusk movie uh, to answer to answer your question earlier, Ryan. Um, I do want to see the Nun though. Uh, definitely more into thrillers, um, but uh, horror films. I think actually like Silence of the Lambs. Like those, they're really Halloween's. Like the sci-fi horror is where it's at. It's my favorite thing. Like, like horror. Yeah. Like which ones? Um, Alien. The original Aliens okay. one of my favorites with Ripley. I love the Alien series. Yeah. So going away, we did a good job. I like the new Aliens too. The Covenant was foul. pretty good. No, they did not. Yes, they did. Oh uh, well, he did, but they leave with his shoulder. No, they called. They call. I'm not lying. They called. No, I know you're down. not. I just uh, there's so many points in that that Buccaneers Saints game. It's ridiculous. It's good for us though, Joe. We're gonna have to keep throwing, probably. Dude, Michael. Ta yeah, dude. He could finish with. He could finish with over like 25 fantasy points easily. Dude, I. Th well, Thomas had the most catches ever for a receiver in his first two years, so I, I like that pick. Um. Okay, dude, there's a new Predator coming out. I do you want to see that one? Yeah, hope, hopefully it's good. Uh, it's, I was going to say, it's never going to be as good as it. What the hell? Jack Doyle. Hello, son. Oh, this just happened. Wait, was this? Oh, this is the one we just watched. Okay. I was yeah. Say, yeah. This guy. Jimmy. It's like he like like caught the ball and then's like uh, toss it. I don't want it. <laughs> Pierre Garçon. Look. <laughs> it literally does look like he's. I don't want this touchdown. I just tossed it. Did you ever watch Ozark, Ryan? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just started the second season. Okay, I'm I'm about halfway through. I watched the uh, I watched the uh, second episode of Better Call Saul. So I am starting to make some dent into it. How far are they? Four or five? I forget how far they are. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not trying to. No, no. I just. 
point. I just, saw the, I just saw the. I won't say anything on here because I don't want to give anything away. But yeah, I just saw the second one. Second one was a little bit better than the the first one. I, say, I think I want to say they're four or five in. It, it's it's definitely picked up. It's gonna get. It's gonna get intense. It doesn't because the second episode didn't really focus on Jimmy much. It focused more on. Uh, That's not Kittle. Oh, which is fine. It was. It felt. It focused more on uh, the whole uh, Salamanca and. Uh, Gus and all that. Gus. Are you story. guys going to watch the Mayans? I got the first episode taped. Is it good? Never watched I haven't it. watched it yet. No, you bastard. <laughs> well, the, here's the, well, the problem, yeah. I mean, we'll have to, have to, we have so much other TV, man. I, just, I watch too much TV and I'm getting busier. But uh, I was like, I, I will probably check it out. It's just so tough, though, because how, do how do you follow up, man? Wait, why does it say 23-6 Minnesota? Because they had that. Pick six. It was it was ten to three at that point, and they made seventeen to three. Well, so I got. Then see. this is way behind them because they're still at seventeen to three right now. Wow, wow. Buffalo is bad. I was gonna say, Joe, you are right. Buffalo do and po- Jets. Do we have them at home this year? Does it matter? <laughs> no, but <laughs> it it's by far <laughs> easiest schedule. Well, I will tell you this: we suck in Buffalo, man. That's very true. I will they say had, this. They had Tyrod. We play, Tyrod we play the Patriots year, in Foxborough. So that we have sucks. to play at least the Jets or Buffalo. One of them has to be at home. I know the Jets is at home. I was, I thought Miami was at home, but I could be wrong. Wow. Either, either way, here's the thing. The Chiefs should go at least – they should go at least 2-2. Two and two. I would be really mad if they don't. And I, I could see 3-1. and one it's Man. In that division. They should do lose in Foxborough. Edelman, Edelman will be back. And Barry's health is still in question. I don't know. Is Flacco going to be the highest scoring quarterback in week one? Fitzpatrick. He's got two two rush or he's got two. Oh pass. my god! <laughs> Did you see that? Doesn't he have two passing, one rushing? And he has almost three hundred yards. Yeah. God, can you imagine a, a D lineman landing on you? If you would have told me. Flacco and Fitzgerald and Fitzpatrick would be <laughs> top two quarterbacks for week one. I would have punched him. I know. I thought for sure it would have been Blake Bortles. <laughs> and Eli. <laughs> and Eli. Like right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's so bad. I don't know, man. Mm. Well, hey, again, I'm happy for you, Ryan. Seriously, man. This is the last podcast, I'm assuming, right before. Maybe. I may try and squeeze another one in. Okay. I'll say, let Maybe me know, man. my buddy David. Are you, I, hope, I hope you're able to. I hope you're able to. Me too. It's unfortunate I couldn't get Chris on because he had a lot of things that he wanted to say. Well, no, yeah, you could but say him in a format if you just come on the show. I know, right? If you weren't up till two in the morning doing film. Is that what they call it these days? I guess. You got anything else, Big Smooth, before we uh, wrap no. this thing up? Good luck in California. Thanks. Good luck here. I will. You got to make sure you smoke a doobie. Smoking <laughs> <laughs> doobies with my brothers. No. no, seriously, have fun. Thanks. See if uh, see if you can bring me back some weed. <laughs> what is up with you? Yeah. <laughs> this weird kick with weed, dude. What's going on? Well, I, I don't know. I might be dying, so just bring me some weed. Oh, my God. You're going to be fine. Okay, we'll see. All right. All right, well, thanks again, guys. This was fun. First time we got to do... <laughs> Do a episode with the the red zone on. That was pretty good. I thought we did that lot. Didn't we? We knew that once at Joe's house. We did it once at my house. Yeah. Yeah, but I think we did more talking than we did. And it might have been on the maximum effort. It was. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, sorry. All good. All right. Well, what episode is this? Who cares? Who cares? Good luck. I can't wait to listen to the ones in California as well. Yeah, they're gonna be shorter. They're gonna be like between fifteen and thirty minutes. So, hey. tune in whenever. All right. Till next time. Uh, thanks, brother. See you, man.